It has been a while, hasn't it? I think it's time for another story. Rust, numbers, rule. Normally, bigger groups with better guns, better gear, bigger bases, more resources will make short work of groups that just don't have as many people. That's just how it goes. That's how it's always gone. But there are exceptions. As the saying goes, the bigger they come, the harder they fall. With a carefully crafted and executed plan here and there, the odds can be defied. But to do so, one must be careful because when you play with fire, it's easy to get burnt. At its essence, this story is all about defying the odds. Now, three hours is a rather long time, and I know that. So I'm gonna tell this tale like a book with chapters, giving you natural breakpoints where you can pause the video and come back at a later time if you so choose. I'm gonna ask you guys throughout this adventure while you're watching, put yourselves in my shoes. Observe everything that can be observed because the information that is gathered, the intel that is picked up, the little clues here and there ultimately determine the outcome of this adventure. If we survive or if we die. But let's get on with it. We have a long and thrilling story ahead of us. With that being said, my name is Stevie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. So like you heard in the intro, because of its length, I'm going to tell this story as a book. With pages and chapters, protagonists and antagonists, highs and lows, plot twists, this adventure has it all. So let's go to the beginning, or rather, our beginning. Chapter 1, Welcome to the Neighborhood. Our story started where and how everyone in Rust begins. As a naked on the beach. I spawned in Narnia. I spawned in Narnia, so... Oh um, my god, that launch site area does look kind of nice. It does, yeah. Melee launch outpost, you know. So the day was Saturday, March 6th, meaning the server had wiped two days earlier. I was playing duo with my pal, Snuffy. There is SARS, like, shooting over here and shit, so... Sars shooting at launch? Hmm. Yeah, kinda. Close launch. So what do you think about J20? J20? Yeah, yeah. I'm at J40 right now. Have you already I've built the base? All the... No, I haven't. But look at that spot. 
I guess I'm gonna go run around like Chain 20. Go ahead. Put the slap bridge down around there. Yeah, I'm Q20, so I'm actually not super far from there. Oh wow, that is a pretty beefy base on the water. Maybe kind of like in between sulfur quarry and mining, like up the hill a slight bit. Because being close to this mining, I think is going to be OP for us. Oh, there's gamers on the roof. You need to watch out for these. Can you invite me? There, I'll invite you. Let's go. You wanna have a bow? Oh, yeah, of course, man. <laughs> Muscle starving to death. Okay. You want food? I would love food. I'm... Deep breath. Deep breath. No shot. Oh, wait, wait, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need a bandage so fast. Food so fast. I'm gonna starve. Okay, but why is there a random bear trap in this bush? Like what? <laughs> no shot. This Come on, man. man. Wait, that guy is running back. We can fucking cut him off and fucking kill him. Where? I mean, I'm zero HP. Under out, under oh, out, I see, I see, I see, I see. You ready? Wait, just wait, just wait. Let him he, sees, he sees first. He's hot, he's hot. Oh, he's hitting that. He's hitting that. Headshot him. Hit him. He's a shot hit then. He's one shot. I know. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let me hit some stuff. Yeah, just take it. This guy above us. Now, while I'm building the base, something I want you guys to know that's very, very important and is going to matter later on is that I'm not designing a 2x2 or a 3x3 base. Those are the most simple and commonly used bases in all of Rust, and they are the most efficient for their cost. There's no denying that. But the reason you'll almost never see me make one, unless it's for a flank base or something like that, is because they're the most predictable. Just by looking at the base, even if it's honeycombed, even if it's massive, you can kind of get a sense of where the tool cupboard and the loot is going to be, and almost exactly how many explosives you need to bring to raid the base if it has a 2x2 or 3x3 core. Having a base design kind of like this, just a little bit different, allows me a lot more flexibility on the inside, where I want to put the tool cupboard, where I want to put the jump up to the second story, the boxes, etc. It is a tiny little thing. It probably would have been an oversight if I didn't point it out, but it is very important and will matter later on. So keep it in the back of your mind. But with our base now done, our extra loot stored in a small box and our extra resources stored in the tool cupboard, it was time to go out and explore our area, see what we could do to progress. We can see over the whole freaking world, dude. The fox is inside that this hole. Perfect. Oh, there's a heli flying to their base. Sheesh. I don't want to have door facing that way. Yo, that is being scrappy. On, on the opposite so. side. Oh, maybe they're getting top downed. They will not. Yeah, I guess Scrappy's going over. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Snuffy, I think they might be getting raided. Unless, oh, they probably just went on a run and bought those two. Probably. Wait. No, yeah, yeah, it's only it. yeah, it's only one guy. It's just the driver, and he's naked. Oh, we could have run bought just doing him with compound bow. Yeah, they definitely just bought that. There's a gear guy coming from uh 222 of them. He's got Sar. Or Crossy. Hit one. I'm pushing. He's got water pipes. Pushing so, okay. He lives in this space. Oh wow. I'm not getting AK at all, dude. I'm not going. Yeah, 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 don't, 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 don't. He lives there too. 
gonna hit, hit oh, these guys. That shit is scary. Why the fuck are they sitting on their roof, brother? They're coming with Ali. It's not over here, surely not. You sure about it? I mean, I hope not, at least. Oh, they are. They are. They are. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. You're dead. Goodbye. No shot. R.I.P. Snuffy. Just hide inside. They're coming to me. They're coming in. These guys are fucking dicks and the half, dude. He's turning around. <laughs> Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Hit him! I need help! Oh, no way! <sighs> no way, there's fucking full metal. <laughs> no shot, dude. Oh, they were hovering so slow. Oh, no. I, I whiffed. Yeah, let me out first. No way they came from me, dude. It's fine. That's I mean that's perfect. If they do that shit again and we have a comp combo, I mean it's just a full charge headshot. Like he was going as slow as could be. Oh, uh, there is a guy on me forwards. on my body. That's fine. You, you, you just gotta give it. We just gotta go somewhere else for now. I'm gonna run up the road to the right and we'll hit barrels and recycle with that mining outpost like up the road. We just need a tier one and some rope. And that's GG. Yeah, so the pilot of the minicopter was wearing plate metal armor, essentially unkillable, but the passenger was wearing a hazmat suit with an AK. So, like I said, the plan was simple. We were going to farm up to craft a level 1 workbench that would allow us to craft some compound bows, which would allow us to potentially one-shot the hazmat guy for the AK if they ever did anything like that again. Now, up the road we went, away from their base, away from the mining outpost we had just been to, and to another one to recycle. Shot they saw me, right? I'm gonna eat real quick. Please, can I live? Can you let me live? Can you pick me up? Dude, <laughs> what? <laughs> I just farmed for 20 minutes to die to two Sarkas in the middle of nowhere. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, pretty unfortunate. A lot of time farming had been wasted, but I knew that once we got compound bows, we could get a nice little snowball rolling. So this time, instead of going up the road to the mining outpost, I went to launch site to try farming again. I'm getting crawl seed. Coming. I mean, I'm good as dead. I'm, dude. I'm dead. I'm just dead, dude. That guy is roof camper. Yeah. He needs to die. Coming to me now. Dude. And with that, our chapter one comes to a close. And in all honesty, right then and there, our story 
almost did. I mean, we were as down bad as it gets. We got a base up pretty much no problem, but right after that, everything went downhill. There were no positives. We went to mining outpost and died. We went on a long farm run up to the other mining outpost and died. We went to launch site to farm and died. And on my way running back just to try to see what was left on my body, we were M2 roof camped and we died. Around an hour and a half of nothing but just losses. But Snuffy and I had been in this position before. We understood that all we needed was a break, a few guns, something to get the ball rolling so we could start progressing. But before I take us to chapter two, this is the perfect opportunity to take us back. Because I said us joining the server was the beginning of our story. Not the entire story. The server had wiped on Thursday, it was now Saturday. So what had happened in our rather hostile neighborhood before we ever showed up? Well, our prologue will explain all of that. Thursday, March 5th. There is no question, this land in the middle of J20 was probably the most desirable build spot on the entire map. I'm sure there were a ton of groups that had rushed to try to get a base down there upon wipe time. It was perfectly flat, mining outpost was next door, a tunnel entrance launch site, there were roads there. I mean, also, outpost wasn't far at all, and neither was military tunnels. This spot had it all. But the group that got there first, the group that put a base down there, was a group called ATP. Or at least we're gonna call them ATP, and I'll explain that name later on. We estimated there were probably around five members deep. You guys have seen them. They were the guys that were shooting AK off of their roof at us when we were at Mining Outpost, that then came on a minicopter to kill us when we were at Mining Outpost, and that had just now M2 roof camped us. This was all the same group, and yes, of course, they lived in this base here. The beginning of the wipe for them must have gone great, obviously, because they had a big base down, a compound down as well. They had an M2, they had AKs, and how they found all of this success was because of their base location, their proximity to launch site, and specifically Bradley within launch site. Every single time Bradley was alive, they were there taking it, just about. I mean, you guys will see for yourselves soon enough, but that kind of explains the M2. It explains how these guys were so rich. And they didn't hold back. They showed no restraint with anyone, if anyone, and I mean anyone, stepped into the neighborhood they were fair game, shooting from the roof like we've seen with the AK, with the M2, it didn't matter, flying over on a heli. These guys ran the place. There was no question about it. And I think that's the reason that they were really the only group in the area, at least that close to launch site. Everyone else had been forced to leave. We were less than two hours into our adventure and we were already getting a taste of this. We already wanted to quit the server. These guys, ATP, were very oppressive. But maybe that's the reason we decided to stick it out. The thought of these guys getting to do whatever they wanted, getting to bully whoever they wanted out of their area was, I don't know, it just didn't sit well with me. So that's pretty much the prologue. ATP ran the area. They'd gotten to the area first, they'd put a base down, and because of it, they had been running the neighborhood. And actually, as far as names go, we haven't seen one of their names yet, because both times they killed us, we F1 killed before we could see their names, but you guys will find it out soon enough. One of their names was Treyway, and the other was Mr. Yoda. Those are the two names in the group that we're going to see the most, so keep those in mind. Now, let's flip back to the present. Chapter 2, The Hilarious Irony. Oh my god, I'm not in the mood. Running. I think the snake is... I was running the other direction. Uh... I think this guy... This, this guy has a, this guy's a gun, this guy's a gun. Wait. Don't get close to him. He has a sword? No. Oh my god, dude. I got him. You killed him? Oh, you did. Nice. Get x boss. Let's go back. That's so big. Why was he running through the open just naked? Let's try just using these. Just going out. You know? Here, take this. Split ammo. Not to the M2, of course, but like, I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Sure. So ATP was still apparently on their roof without M2, so we couldn't go to the nearby mining outpost, and instead were forced again to run up the road towards the other one. Except this time, despite still being naked, we had two semi-automatic rifles that we got off of this naked, 
that we used to protect ourselves, and the run went perfectly. We didn't see a single person the entire time, or at least a single threat. We got to the mining outpost, we found an extra semi-automatic pistol, we recycled there, we got a bunch of recyclables or raw materials, and we ran back to base in the middle of the night. We depoted everything, and then feeling good about that path, we decided to go back out, still staying far away from ATP's base, but hitting up the roads using the SAR and the semi-automatic pistol to protect ourselves, and we made a huge run to outpost. It was a big risk, but we did so again successfully, and we recycled more. This was a pretty big deal for us, and kind of made up for all the losses we'd been experiencing so far. We ran back to base and actually had a close call with ATP at that mining outpost, my arrow counts as two. There's a monkey inside the warehouse. Wait, let's double charge him. Wait, don't shoot, don't shoot. Where? There's a guy coming as well, on the right, watch out. Where? He's coming from the right, right, in the right rocks. Does he see us? No. He's, he's inside now, inside. Oh. There's just no point in trying to kill him. We have so much on us. Let's just get home. But we were able to veer left and avoid them and get back to base safe and sound. We did a bunch of upgrades. We added large boxes, metal doors. We made a level two workbench. We added a shotgun trap. But most importantly, with all of this scrap, we got everything that we needed to research, researched. Pistol ammo, 5.56 ammo, and medical syringe. And then right back out we went, except this time to launch site. You wanna take a quick peek with like launch first? Maybe? Yeah, we can. Let's check recycler. I'm getting bowed. Ooh, you're getting bowed. Oh, I'm getting bowed. So two of them. Hit this guy. He's a pushy TP. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I did not hit either of them one time. I was so sure of that. I, was gonna die. I thought you were as well. Yo. Okay, I'm gonna recycle all my goodies, and then we'll go. Did you put all the stuff in the bottom in it and recycle it? There is a three guys coming. From? I'm going to our uh, hill. Okay. I'm taking all recyclables. What do they have? I can't. Okay. You want to both go tower and wait for them? Yes, I have a great stint. Okay, okay, okay. Check those good stuff. Oh, they might see me cross, maybe. It's pink metal, it's them, it's them, it's them. I know. This could be perfect. Up to the top, you think? Yeah. Okay, okay. No shutter gun, they Bradley now. This Just wait in here. Don't peek the windows. Don't. Oh, you have DB. You want DB instead? Yeah, yeah, if you have SAR, then yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Sit in there. Just don't move. Oh, yeah, I see. Right through those trees. Dude, that could be good. Huh. <laughs> We're gonna be able to clap these guys. I know it. Alright, I'm ready to go. Uh, wait. No, I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. It really just is a matter of time. Like, all of these trees we're running through, these rocks, sulfur quarry even, are perfectly situated between the, their base and launch site. It's perfect for us to pick them off once we get, you know, a few more guns and stuff. They're, what, like a trio right now, it seems like, and they're taking M2 on the ground and LR to take Bradley. That, that's insane. You know what I'm saying? I do, yeah. Like... If we can just pick the M2 guy off, oh my god. We got back to base safe and sound and depoted all of the loot that we got from launch site, but as we were preparing to go back out on our next run, we really thought about what had just happened. 
Our neighbors, this group ATP as a three men, had just run over to launch site, had taken Bradley, and had left. All in a 10 minute span, completely uncontested. Not once the entire time did they even run to the tower building that we were in, which is kind of the primary position to hold when you're taking Bradley at launch site, or at least the safest position to hold, which is why we were there in the first place, hoping that one of them would just run up the ladder and we'd get a free gear set. That never happened. But it was kind of shocking how quick they were. In and out, no shenanigans. Probably one of the fastest Bradley takes I've ever seen. It was very apparent that they had been doing this frequently. But predictable behavior is a weakness. Like I said, Sulphur Quarry and the trees were situated perfectly in between their base and launch site. Meaning, if we were camping there when they were going to take Bradley or when they were coming back, we had the chance to get all of their kits and all of the Bradley loot. Of course, it was too late to do it now. They were already back in their base, but even if they weren't, we probably still wouldn't have because we only had two gear sets at the time, two semi-automatic rifles and a little bit of extra ammo and, you know, the broken P2 that I was carrying on me. But what that meant is if we failed and we didn't instantly wipe all of them, we didn't have any gear sets to run back out of our base with. So we wanted to build up some extra weapons before we decided to make this play. We had about one hour before the next Bradley spawned, and we were assuming that they would probably go right for it when it did. And exactly at that time, we wanted to be ready. We wanted to be in those trees. We wanted to be at Sulphur Quarry, waiting for them to run by. So we were going to need guns, we were going to need gear, and we were going to need them fast. And where were we going to go to do that? Well, it was March 6th, two days after the force wipe, two days after the tunnel update. A brand new network of railroads deep beneath the surface of the rust landscape was attracting the masses. That is where the action would be. So of course, that is where Snuffy and I ran. They're leaving. Leaving what? They're based, they're running away from it, like up that hill. Up that hill? Yeah, they're like directly east. They might be going to the train station. Probably going to farm wood. Go, 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 go. Pass, pass it. That is it. Down we go. I'm keeping this door closed. Be in front Wait, it comes, comes, second. comes. I swear no I heard somebody. It's to the left of us, like close ish, kinda. There's no Did you not hear any footsteps? Monkeys. There's monkeys. Maybe. Do you hear our neighbors still on their roof? <laughs> I don't. It's like. Say less and come down. I'm gonna use crossing. I think this is the last one. Nice. Well, let's see which way we want to go. Yeah, we'll go this way and wrap around the outpost, you think? Okay, yeah. Okay, you drive. Go grades in. Okay. Oh, Wait, there's people. There are people down here. That, that's at a station, I think. We could cut them off. We should cut them off. We should cut them off. Should we wait here? No, 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 no. Let's go to an intersection that they're going to pass, you know? Oh, this could be perfect. Go, 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 go. Let's see. It's either this one. My favorite people going in front. It's a light. It's Wait, I see. Wait, that's definitely weapon flashlight. Yeah, let's just they're they're guys straight ahead. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming straight ahead. You have nades. You have nades, right? Hello, yeah. I'm gonna get, drop them. Yeah, definitely, guys. They're get it. Okay. Run, 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 run! Bro, I'm 30 HP. They're close. One top head. Nice. A head driver. I, I hit him twice, I hit him twice. You think we should push on, on the car? No, no, just loot the body, loot the body, loot okay, the body. Okay, let me get a star, let me get a star. 
And, and then we should push. Cover me. We're putting his gear on. Can I have his hammer? Yeah, on the ground. Did drop it? It's right there. there. Where's the SAR? The SAR has to be here I somewhere. It's, no, it landed on, on top of the thingy, I think. No, I got it. Did you? Yeah. On the right side, one. Hit him once. Stop, stop, stop. I chopped down. Wait for me, wait for me. He's spot, he's spot. He's down. He's down. He's dead, he's dead. There's one more. Pick me. Pick I'm picking me. you. Met me once. Uh, I don't have med and hop bar. You're up in three, two, one. Run right. I'm metting once and I'm gonna peek. He's, he's pushing. Headshot him. Right, right. Dead. Good shit, Stevie. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Good shit. Wait, where'd this other guy go? Oh, here he is. The collapse. Oh, so much. Okay, we're gonna have to be smart about what we loot here. I'll get his armor. The DB is actually kind of nice. 20 I'm gonna get DB, I'm gonna get DB. Shots. You have, you have two stars total, right? One extra? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't. Okay, nice, perfect. I do as well. He is collapsed. Oh. Can't go out. Yeah, yeah. Heli's right above the tunnel entrance. We could go to the one on the top of launch site. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that as well. Just ignore Same any problem. guys we see. Or um, any uh, scientists. Well, let's just go up. I think Bradley's probably just about up, right? Or at least close. It is. Told you. Devin loves it though. So our tunnel run was a success, despite Snuffy almost blowing us up with one of his grenades, but we had done everything we needed to do. We'd got a bunch of extra components and, more importantly, extra gear sets, which would be perfect for our plan. And just to quickly clarify for those confused, the reason we went up a different tunnel entrance than we went down is because the one right next to our base was right beside the helicopter that had just been taken down by ATP, meaning that if we came up and they were on their roof, which they probably would be if they had just taken the helicopter, they would probably shoot us and we would lose everything that we had just worked for. But in the end, everything worked out and we made it home safe and sound. Now, we decided we weren't just going to run near Sulphur Quarry in between ATP's base and launch site and just wait for them to come. That wouldn't make much sense. Instead, we went out and did a little farming. We were going to wait for them to take Bradley, which we expected they would soon because it had recently respawned, and cut them off on the way back to their base. That way, they would have done all of the hard work for us. They would have taken Bradley. They would have fended off any counters, and they'd be running back to their base and have a false sense of security because they could see it. They were so close to being done with the run. They wouldn't expect anybody to be in the trees waiting, but we would be there and they would hand the loot to us. At least, that's what the plan was. But for now, we still wanted to stay away from their base. We didn't want them seeing us. We didn't want them to be any more paranoid than they otherwise would be. We wanted them to think this was going to be like every other Bradley run they had done this wipe. So we ran up towards the other mining outpost like we had been doing, farming everything we saw along the way, but mostly focusing on sulfur. We needed to smelt it down to make some gunpowder and make a bunch of extra ammo because we really didn't have that much. That's stone. The problem is, if our plan works and they see where we run off to, we're just gonna get instantly raided, you know? So maybe we have to be sneaky about how we run away, you know? At least until we get stuffed up, upgrade our base. Two guys running to our left, trying to cut us off. Don't look. No, they're not. They're, they don't want to see us. I only I have I them off. 24 I extra I ammo, but... I can give you some. I can hit you up. How much do you have? I mean, I don't worry about it. 
How much extra do you have, Snuffy? Don't worry about it. I can give you 17 extra more. Okay. Oh, they're gonna yoink this horse and it's gonna be difficult. Give me. Oh, they're, he's leaving his homie behind, isn't he? He doesn't know what's oh, going on. they live on that big base. I guarantee it. Probably the guys that killed me earlier. They're going for them, for sure. Because his homie running right. No, his they homie turning hard, left. They're gonna go in mining. No one passes mining and doesn't stop for the boxes if they're there. But we gotta be smart, because it's also really hard to push mining. You know, I have three fucking bad kids. I'm set. Okay, you go right, I'll go left, yeah? I'll kill them all you loot, okay? <laughs> you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't see any of He's on me, he's on me. He's, in, he's like in the rocks, kind of. He's about to shoot. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, Run. I see him, I see him. I'm behind him, I'm behind him. Hit one twice. Hit the guy pushing me twice. Body shot, headshot, the guy you're shooting at. Body shot, headshot. Killed this guy, close. That guy's lit. They're not going through it anymore. He's pushing me. Get him. Is that nice. He hit me. What? No. Yeah, he hit me. No cap. I mean... <laughs> what wait. Do you mean no cap? <laughs> I mean, that's cap. That's cap. <laughs> no. Look at the combat log right now. Wait, I can, I can show you my combat log. <laughs> You're trying to make me look bad. I know what I saw, dude. <laughs>
for our eventual plan to ambush ATP. It would be extremely unfortunate if all of a sudden they started taking Bradley and we had no guns or gear sets to counter them with. Right in front. I'm gonna pick it there. No, 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 it's fine. I'm running. I'm getting hella rads. Oh, this was not the move. Somebody in. I have like 70 radiation. This is really bad. I don't want to waste my meds either. Are there guys? They're at the bottom, at the bottom. Okay. Please be rad pills here. They're all... Oh my god, they do nothing. They're useless. Took away like 20 radiation. So sad. Yeah, uh, you're gonna hear it. I see, I see, I see one. One just crossed, one crossed. Oh, he's beneath you, he's pushing you, I think. He's pushing you to your left. Like, like... You can hide, you can hide if you're tagged. He's dead, I think. He's dead. Hold, hold the right side, hold the right side, hold please. Hold right? Okay. Holding. Just back up. Yeah. We should leave. Let's go home. Okay. Let's just leave. Let's go deep extra stars and we come back, I guess. There's people on, on top of the fucking melee. Yeah, let's, flank left, pumpkin, let's flank I'll left. I'll give you one med. There's a guy jumping up on you. To your left, there's a guy jumping up on you. He's I close. Can hit him. Two, two, two. He said shot hit. Okay. They're flanking right. They're on top of the rocks. I know. He's gonna look down in a sec. I can shoot him if you can shoot him. Uh, They're looking down. There's one down low. There's one down low. Yeah, let him, let him, let him come down or down. I'm not gonna no, do it. It's three, two. Wait, I don't see a dark. single person. I don't see a single person now. I it's too it. dark now. It's too dark now. You see him? I know, I can't see a thing. Jesus Christ. Push closer then. Just push, crouch, crouch, crouch. Go with me, go with me. Is this you behind me? No. There's a. Killed Sora? I need They're going back. They're going back. I need to, I need to find this guy, Sora. I got it. Come, come behind, okay, come okay. behind rock. Take it. Drop got it. it. Flashlight. Let's go. I'm popping one med. They're, they're running this way. Let's we go. can fight. We can fight. We can fight. Uh, no. Uh, they, yeah, they're close. Stevie. Okay. I'm hiding behind this rock. Killed one. Twice, twice, twice. Pushing. He's pushing back, he's pushing back. Headshot, full dead. Nice, good shit. I'm looting that guy, you loot this guy, okay? Alright. You, you get him? Yeah, let's go home. You got his gun? His custom? Yeah, yeah I got him. Nice. Good shit. Me too. That's what I like to see, Steve. Guy, guy right in front of us with some sort of DB or something. Oh! <gasps> We're deep. It's we're full deep. Shot. I know. We're go. We're going deep. Make it easy. Is there anything? Yo, kid. Come on, come outside. Come outside. Come outside. I'm covering. Loot what you can, man. Loot inside. Loot. There's like explo ammo in this one. I got it. I got it. You ready to go? We should just dip. He's in. He's behind <laughs> the TC. Kill him. No, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have him. He's dead. He doesn't have a code lock for that door. He doesn't have. Help me. Dead? Yeah, no. You good? I'm good, dad. Yeah. We need to leave. I could almost shoot this out. Not really. I do, kinda. My last. You wanna just go? You wanna just go? Let's just go. I wanna go. I wanna go with it. 
All right, let's go. Let's get out of here, man. Easy peasy stonks. True that. <gasps> Yo, We're taking Bradley. You're taking the... You want to try it? We, we, we should. I mean, it's going to be our neighbors. And th this is actually perfect. We depot and we can cut them off on their way back. Because it's night, we can get there and find nice hiding spots. Yes, we can do that. I'm oh, sorry. All good, all good. I mean, I, this timing worked out perfectly. This is our time to shine. I'm gonna take custom, so I have close range, you know? Okay. I'll stand behind the rock and stop them. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm out. So everyone leaves from mountains, so we just do a beeline from, so like right at Sulphur Quarry, there would be ideal. Uh, we'll wait for a day, I guess. It's gonna be a while anyways. You know what we should have? Like crossfire. Like, yeah, like know, I, I could get on this mound, yeah. and then you stay shoot here, in the back. and we wait for them to get close, and then I shoot them in the back. Maybe then. There's like oh, there's a rock here at this one, bush. Yeah. Stay over there. Don't have a game flashlight out, you monkey. This is perfect. They won't notice. I'm gonna up BRB. Quick. <sighs> All comes down to this. Snuffy? Oh, that's not good. The cover is blown, it seems. Snuffy, come back. Yes. There's a guy here, running by. He has a gun. Look, call it, call it I'm fast. going, I'm going. It's not one of them. It's not one of them. I killed one coming naked with a- or just com ha has he with nothing else. He was trying to run back in. And he com came back. It's one of them. It's not them. Yeah. There's no way I loot that body. Oh, he's metal. I have it all. MP5 full metal. <laughs> we need to take a different position. Come. You can take his. Give me half that ammo. Give me half that ammo. I have no extra. Right, that back, hollow? back to Basse, yes. Alright, we gotta think about how we're gonna do this going back. I'm dropping off this kit. Look at the pretty double rainbow. Yeah, I see it. I wanna go back then. Yeah, yeah, same. But I also wanna drop this kit off. They're taking off from their compound in a heli? They're flying back. I'm hit. It's them, it's them. It's gotta be the two we killed just flying back. Dude, M2 may be alone, honestly. Yeah. Like if they're if they're flying back and they're only three still, M2 may be alone. They're inside Mammoth. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. They're, they're inside it. They're inside, yeah. M2 lit, M2 three times lit, Fire. jumping into Mammoth. He's in Mammoth. There are two, there are two, there are two. Big. Can you... One. one top recycler, I'm headshot. On me. You good? Somewhere. I'm, I'm dead? He's above. Oh my god, of course. But it wasn't over just yet. You see, if Snuffy is still alive, there is always 
a chance. Now, he was streaming, but I wasn't able to get my hands on the VOD. So we're going to have to recreate this in an animated form. This is a top-down view of launch site, of the fight that was playing out, specifically two buildings within launch site, one called Recycler Building and one called Mammoth Building. The two ATP members with all of the loot were trapped inside of Mammoth Building. They couldn't leave and get away with it because there were so many counters outside pinning them down. Now we can see from this clip the ATP members were very focused on the jump into the Mammoth Building, but there's another entrance. It's on the roof. Treyway was just up there. He had killed me from the roof. But after about a minute, Snuffy heard him jump back inside. Hearing this, he sneakily worked his way to the Recycler Building, made his way up the ladder onto the roof because there's a pipe that connects the two buildings from the top. He ran across this pipe. How he didn't get shot doing so, I have no idea, but he was able to peek in and kill both of the ATP members for all of the loot. So now he was stuck inside a mammoth building with all of the loot, but fear not, Stevie was riding his way there on a horse with a semi-automatic rifle, said he was going to save the day, and... I'm dead. <clears throat> I wasn't just throwing gear sets away at this point. What I had done was distracted them long enough for Snuffy to get out of launch site around the large mountain beside our base and back inside, safe and sound with all of the loot. If you ask me, it was a 50-50 effort. Hello? Hey! You good? <laughs> me so weak. <laughs> very, very nice. Do you want to see what they get? Yeah, sure. Ooh, ooh, easy clap. Ooh, very nice. I don't know hey, if we have a box. box I'll, I'll, I'll show you it in inventory. Make a box, large okay, box. Give me a sec. Add some outside bags and add a fucking gold lock to that DC. Look, inside. Oh, all of this from them. <laughs> I don't think these guys realize what they've gotten themselves into. There you have it. The turnaround that we so desperately needed had been accomplished, and thus, Chapter 2 comes to a close. But why named the hilarious irony? Well, how did this chapter begin? How did we get our first guns this adventure? It was this naked that we killed that was carrying two semi-automatic rifles. We had used those rifles to protect ourselves as we had farmed a level 2 workbench shop. And then shortly after, we had used those same guns deep in the tunnel system to get more gear sets. And after that, we went to military tunnels and got even more guns and gear with them. And eventually, we used the semi-automatic rifles at Sulphur Quarry to kill the ATP members running to launch site, part of our plan. We got MP5 gear sets because of it, and we had used them to kill the ATP members for the M2 and the LR gear sets. So if we look at all of these fights, if we look at this turn of events as dominoes falling, what was the first domino to ever fall? It was the two semi-automatic rifles that came from the naked, but where did those guns come from? Well, those of you with a sharp eye might have noticed that ATP had a shop. And what were they selling in the shop? semi-automatic rifles for 500 sulfur ore. That naked at the time we killed him was running away from ATP's compound. He didn't have any gear on him, no meds, hardly any extra ammo. He had no tools. He had quite clearly just made a purchase from ATP. Those semi-automatic rifles had originally been there. So the hilarious irony, ATP had just now lost their own M2 Metal Gear set and LR Metal Gear set because of their own semi-automatic rifles that they were selling in their shop. It's pretty funny when you think about it. And of course, ironic hence the name, the hilarious irony. So this is where our second chapter will come to a close. <sighs> now on we move to chapter three, the joyride. And this is when things start getting fun. But still, at this time, Snuffy and I needed to be very, very careful. What was so perfect about what had happened in the previous chapter was that through all of it, ATP had no idea where we lived. Even after we killed him at Sulphur Quarry, they didn't follow us up to our base. We made sure none of them were watching us run inside, and after Snuffy got the M2 and the LR gear set at launch site, he had done a long loop, like I said, around the mountain in order to get home safe, but also to keep our base location concealed. There was one stone wall separating all of the loot we had profited so far in the outside world. Getting all the gear sets that we profited from fights back to our base sneakily was going to be our key to successor 
rather our key to survival. Because the second that ATP figured out that we lived in this base so close to theirs, our walls were getting blown down and all of our loot was getting taken back. So for the time being, we only ran back outside with semi-automatic rifle hazmat gear sets just in case for some reason that they were out there. But Luckily, they weren't. We ran back over to launch site, our reason being this minicopter that flew over from ATP's base to the mountains outside of launch site. We wanted to see if it was still there. Hmm. Some compact dog gates are there. Oh, the hell is still here, bro. We could take yeah. this. Let's go wild, dick. True, true. Oh my god, actually. I'm gonna go take strap fitted horse. Hold on. I mean, uh, low grade. I have eight. That's not enough. <laughs> Maybe if you believe. You're gonna crash it. You're gonna crash it. Don't even do it. I'll get it closer. Don't worry. Then, uh. Oh, <laughs> and that's all she got. Look at that, much closer. Here, let, let me take horse back because I have comps and shit on me. You cover. Look at that clean transition, man. Because <sighs> we have no room. We might, we can like, Go and buy a fucking few check hammers. Yes. Yeah, we actually can. We have like a thousand scrap. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll bring low grade and scrap. And we'll buy a couple jackies. I might come pick you up. Right. Bring like 300. Yep. Buy two jackies. We can't land the heli right next to our base though, if we come back, because then they're gonna know it's us. I say we land on the very top of the hill, because I'm pretty sure that base that's up there is, eight, is not yeah. on. Let's go. You want me to fly, because you have the thingy. The thingy? You have the strap, give me the strap. Go, go, just go. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, they have bear helis. They have given one million, one, one million, one scrappy there as well. Could yoink them, but it's also risky. They have get out of the rest of the god pot. Ah, uh, we couldn't yoink them. I would have a HP, so I would blow their scrappy up to make them even more mad. Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging as well. <laughs> that could have been bad. Do we yeah. just want to start hitting here or what? Or take the heli back first? I'll just take the heli back, I think. Come on, Stevie. Pick a bullet. Not even close, dude. <laughs> Wait. Do oh, I turned my DPI up. That's why. Oh, my God. Oh, there we it's go. Just, <laughs> I clicked, I clicked the DPI I button. I was fucking going crazy. Let's go on top of that house, like face on top of the hill, land the hill on top of that. No, I'm not, not landing on top of it, man. We'll land in some bushes up here. How much longer it have? Not a lot. Uh, let me see. 60. We'll land in the, in the middle of this bush. I need to bank really quick. Oh, then this then. is... Oh my god. Hey, no one getting this heli, man. Give me a Jackie. I'll start. Look at that. Oh, but it's per it was made for it. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, I'm just gonna skip past all this boring farming stuff. This chapter's called the Joyride for a reason, although that is what we did for the next 20 to 30 minutes. We farmed to be able to upgrade our base. It was just too cheap to raid in its current state. Although what was strange is that throughout doing so, we really didn't hear any shots from launch site or in ATP's base direction. It kind of sounded like and looked like that after we had taken their M to an LR gear set, they just got offline, which kind of made sense because it was pretty late Saturday night, well past 12, and that's kind of a big loss to take. But we stayed careful every once in a while, taking a peek at their base just to see if we could see any furnaces running, any of them on the roof, if we heard anything, but we didn't. So we decided to use the C4 that we'd gotten from them at launch site from that Bradley run that they had done to raid a base in our area. Stevie. Hmm. What do you think about pineapple pizza? Is it good? Hmm. I think if I had to choose a flavor of pizza to eat, there would never be a pineapple pizza. But if one was provided to me, I wouldn't complain. Those are my thoughts. Everyone is sick, fair in the chat. I mean, so, it's a solid answer. I think you're sick if you if you think out. it's the absolute best flavor, but I mean it's not bad, man. It's good, it's tasty. You have the C4. Yeah. Okie dokie, man. Now we gotta be no. smart five head boys and find a good base to raid. I found a quick nope. base, but I raid. <laughs> We're not gonna, we yeah. can't raid their base. Yeah, man. Yeah. Silly goose. <laughs> you know, I think our homies just went to sleep. Huh, kind of a shame. So much more fun was to be had. Maybe we have to raid the solo guy, you know? What do you say? I have to maybe put the solo guy oh, down. Mm. You good? Help me? Yeah, yeah. You wanna raid solo player? This guy has his first door open. We might be able to raid in this armor door. No, there's another airlock. We might be able to deep this guy. He had 240 scrap. What solo player? Homie that lives down there. Yeah. Oh, whoa, you whoa, fucking whoa, you, you, you were so <laughs> 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 Wait, no, dude, I can't jump when you're on my head there. It's a weird bug. Just right here, man. A whole new world. TC is one of these two squares, man, of course, but it's just which one. That's what this triangle you know. is for. What? Oh, you're not gonna kill the horse. Nice try. Not today. Say less, man. Like. <laughs> this. I know exactly how it works. Nothing gonna get to see. Look at that. Absolute demongolite. I killed him. Back. Guy was absolute poverty. Oh my. Oh, TC's actually kind of loaded. There's, Yo. there's your silencer, homie. It's good. Let me fall back to TC's. Do you saw TC? Yeah, no, I said TC's kind of that loaded. Shit. That's how it's like. He can have his base back now. We just need the loot. Fair enough, man. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna find his name and type to him. <laughs> we just rid this guy of all of his loot <laughs> and leave. <laughs> My loot now. You killed him, not me. So, you're the bad guy. I was only protecting the mission. It was for a good cause. <laughs> oh, the f Yo! We have hmm. again. In, we need fucking low grade, we have fucking incense rockets, let's go recycle it. Did you take all the incense? We don't want to keep any. No, just uh, recycle everything. Okay, you ready, you ready? There yeah. is a homie out here, okay? You ready to born trade? Ready. I'm gonna die, okay? I'm born ready. <laughs> Man down. Dizzy is his name, little rat weasel door camper.
Wait, they have no windows on their gates. Those are, that's the freest no, camp. <laughs> you want to fucking compel bow out there, out of the reds. <laughs> well, we, yeah, we, we actually could, honestly. Oh, they have big scrap heli as well. Yo, <laughs> we can get scrap as well. Oh, is it just one turret on the roof? Do you know? No, it's like in the compound. The scrap heli is. Yeah. Do they have turrets in the compound? Yeah, they do. We can go on top of the rock and fucking see that. Double headshot, one headshot the other. You good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Need help! This guy's absolutely destroying me. He's dead. Whoppy. Oh, meds. Juicy, yummy. You take the rest. I have no room. Where did they come, came from? With the what? Where did they came from? No clue. Alright, you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Got a stack of low grade. 500 GP. Stack of low grade only. Stack of low grade, yeah. There's only 500. Only 500, man. But I think now, let's go fly around on that heli. Like a little joyride or something. It feels bad just having it sit there, you know? Not being used. No shot, we're gonna find them. We'll find another, we'll just find the first heli guy we see and kill him. No problem. Oh, oh, oh. Chill, I mean, you know, you're driving it. Best pilot in EU <laughs> Yeah, but that's EU, man. Do you guys even have planes? That's toxic. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. That's extremely toxic, Stevie. <laughs> what do you mean, man? I'm just asking. I'm just being a curious Andy. We have more than planes. We have fucking alien ships, dude. <laughs> okay, you don't even know. You're ready to land me on ball. I don't see scientists. I'm gonna just wrap around it first. You can, so you can see, like, what's going on. There's you know? a small boat. I don't see a soul. No scientists, see some body bags. I don't see a single homie. Uh, just keep going, no reason to land. Guy, has he? Has he? Two has he's. Keep going, keep going. Inside. They're, they're building! Do you want to land above them? Land above them on the hill. I'm gonna crash it. No, no, no. <sighs> My butt cheeks. Are they inside? Yeah. They're upgrading, they're upgrading. They can't. I've been shot the roof. Okay. Killed him. Cover, oh, cover door, cover door, cover door. He's Train. gonna leave. Shot left side. There's no one in here. He sealed himself in. He sealed uh, yeah, sealed. sealed. Probably no TC though, right? But it has to be. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, there is, there is. He really sealed himself. There's a guy to the right. Guy to the right, geared. He's one shot. Dead. Another. Left, 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 left. Dead. Is he yeah, hurt? Is it? Yeah, he's twice. Dead? Yo, that's lit. That's what I like to see. Alright, I need to loot. And we dip. He had 250 low grade on him. He's what? a mad lad. This guy's been a homie for us. This guy had an extra road sign kit. <sighs> Shots from the base still. They can just demolish. Yeah. Okay, I have a Tommy and two extra MP5s, three Hazzies, red card, an F1 grenade, and an extra road sign set, and a garage door. Pog champ. Very pog champ.
right when we got back to base, we decided it was best if we upgraded because we had no room to put the loot that we had just got. So, up we built. Oh, hello. Fuck <laughs> bows. We still have like a lot. Uh, can you give me armored? Just a little bit. Tw uh, 20. So I can armor want? the roof above TC. Hi, cool. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Make that armored. Make that armored. Remember, Snuffy, there's no Stevie base build without a pancake layer. So much shit out of the box. I don't know how many boxes do we have. I don't know. Preferably, pre pre preferably, 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 don't make the garage door skin an e-girl skin. We want something where if someone comes to raid and then they see it, they think twice. Yo, it's not an e-girl skin. Diana isn't an e-girl. <laughs> I knew you would, dude. Uh, it's whatever. She's a nice woman, okay? <laughs> you need to respect that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to make me a bad guy? I do respect women. <laughs> Anyways, with the base upgrades now done, we added some boxes to the second story so we could actually depot the loot that we had in our inventories, but we realized we were pretty much completely out of wood. So as nighttime loomed over the land, we ran outside with a salvaged axe to hit some. Light you up so people can spray you down first. Yeah, yeah. But if they don't kill me instantly, I start doing the Stevie snake and they'll never find me. Or they'll never kill me. I'm gonna see what that would look like. You ready? Let's say you're the enemy. Show I'm hitting me. this tree. <laughs> I hear the fucking mouse going slappy. <laughs> nah, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. You waste whole mag. I'm still alive. Easy peasy. Yo! Balloon! Where? Look at that. 110. Oh, he's They're going to rig. They're going. They're actually going to rig. Bro, let's catch up to them. I'll spray them out, man, so easily. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready as well. Start taking off. Get high ground. Yeah, it's two or three hazies. It's four guys. One's road sign. Give me a slightly above. Not yet. Not yet. All right, hover. Wait, one's wolf headdress. Dude, it's five guys. All right, hover. Don't don't go up or down. Don't go up or down. Keep going, keep going. I haven't been hit. I had body shot headshot one. Yeah. All right, stop turning. Stop turning. One's oh. dead. Bro, I got so many hit markers, they're all gonna die. Don't turn, don't turn, don't oh, turn. Shit. I'm right in the box, Snuffy! Oh, 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 dead, oh, dead! I, I need to finish them so they fall. Can you go up? I, I need to finish yeah, them. Yeah. Can you get me a bit higher? I'm trying. Oh, he's bad. Go, go, go. One more. I'm out of ammo. Hold on, just hover, just hover. Reloading. Okay, he's down. All right, go, start going down. Quick, 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 quick. We need to follow body by body. So, this guy at the, at the bottom. Guy at the bottom. Where? At the right, right, right. In front of us. Look at the right. Where? Right in front of us. He's gonna shoot us. He's hit a lot. I'm lit. I'm so lit. Hide, hide, hide. 
I'm late. I killed one. See, he's jumping on the rocks beside push us. It, push it, push it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Stuff. That is so tough. What are y'all so doing many here? Dead. Holy mother. All right, P man, we killed <laughs> four out of that thing, and there were just fucking no guys way. underneath for what? Oh, we are no Narnia way, too, dude. man. No way. You know, that's unlucky. <laughs> A bit, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of unfortunate, to say the least. We had now lost the M2 and LR7. We actually ran back over to see if we could salvage anything, but we died again. There were these two bases over near where the fight took place that seemed like they were an alliance. A bunch of guys were running out of each of the two bases, and they weren't shooting at each other, but they were shooting at us. It was just weird overall. Eventually, we gave up. The guys that had taken our kits were long gone by now. But no time to mope around. We needed to get serious. There was a lot that Snuffy and I needed to get done. The most important thing we needed to do was upgrade our base even more to dissuade any sort of offline raid. We didn't know how ATP operated in terms of raiding because, you know, this was our first day on the server, but it was safe to say based on the scarcity of bases in our area, they had probably done a fair number of raids and we didn't want to be next while we were asleep. They were most certainly going to be on before us the next day, just based on the time that they got off. So to work we went. We did a massive farm run in the tunnel system to get a bunch of components, and we wanted to recycle them at the nearby mining outpost, but there were some shots there. So first we ran over to clear out everyone that was there so that we could safely bring the components and recycle for resources to upgrade our base. Oh, Tommy? Tommy, yeah. He's shooting out of his base, it's the guy we raided. No, 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 they're on the ground, on the ground. Reloading. I can't help you. I'm oh, down, I'm down. Rip. You can vault me. I don't have any walls. Four killed one. Two left, I think. I'm dead. He might have gotten yoked. How many? How many? How many? One, one, one left. Can't say shit I got inside. my body. Trying to find my sword. He's dead. I'm getting MP5. I don't have my sword. I saw him for a second. Where did you kill him? He's out here to the left. I don't know how to describe it. I have sword. Here, come to me, come to me. In this corner, I saw her on the ground. Nine shots, that's what, uh, I don't know, I don't really have any. Wait, naked dead. It, it's gonna be the MP5 guys up the hill a little bit that probably have the stuff. So light. Hey. MP5. Oh, I it's see. Looking down there, it's looking down there. Watch out, watch out, wait, wait. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not even peeking, I'm not even peeking. I'm just baiting for you. Stay crouched. Can you shoot again? Headshot. Hide, 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 hide. He's so low. Okay, I'm pushing. Another one. Two. Both dead. One down, one down. Both dead. Nice, I'm down, I'm down. Okay, I'll pick. Yeah, no, there's two. You're up in three, two, one. I got the MP5. Ooh, wow. Ah, home sweet home. I've been 11 and a half hour stream right now. This. You're going crazy, man. Just make it a 24 at this rate, right? No. <laughs> yeah.
Here, come up to repair bench. So, a storm was most certainly brewing outside, rain was coming down as hard as could be, the fog was thick, but like we had planned, we gathered all of our components and ran over to the nearby mining outpost. And things went pretty smooth. We recycled it all. Got a thousand cloth, or near a thousand cloth, a thousand scrap. 40 high claw, 600 frags. I could frags. maybe recycle the fucking rocket launcher right now. Because we For have what? HVs in the base. Wait, why would you recycle a rocket launcher? I mean, fucking research. Oh. Through the tech tree. Do we have a rocket launcher? Oh, through tech no, tree. Like, to, yeah, but it's like nearly there, you know? I think. That's a long way down, and it's 500 to do that. I don't know. There's no way. If you're not at Tommy right now, there's no way. I have Tommy. You have Tommy? Yeah. No. And I still have 800. I have 860. Alright, then you have enough to research everything down to HVs. Good, you know, take Bradley for one, you know? Yeah, sure. And so that's exactly what we did. I went out and I farmed a little bit to continue to upgrade the base while Snuffy researched everything he needed to and crafted HV rockets. It was very late at this point, meaning we felt kind of safe to take Bradley as a duo. And we did, with almost no issues at all. Well, I mean, kind of. I died to a SAR guy that crept up behind me on the mound, but Snuffy was able to get all of the loot from the Bradley boxes and get back to base safe and sound. And the loot we got from it is very important, or rather will be very important. So listen closely. Yeah, I got them too. Oh, nice. Had C4 and shit. Oh, shit, nice. More HVs. <laughs> Enough to take Bradley. <laughs> Easy. C4, it's a rocket, cell 9, armor, double armor, door, single armor, door. Holy shit. Is that the most loaded Bradley or what? Now, after we got back to base, I got all of the resources we'd been gathering all day long to upgrade the base once again. I added some honeycomb and built off the front a little bit, just to make it look a bit beefier so hopefully we wouldn't get offline raided. Snuffy ended his stream and logged off, and after adding some garage doors, I logged off and went to sleep as well. And so, chapter 3 of our story and day 1 of our adventure comes to a close. And honestly, now looking back on it, it seems kind of like a light-hearted chapter with very little to do with the story. But in due time, you guys will understand it has a much greater influence on the plot than what meets the eye. But anyways, like I said, it was now late Saturday night, around 2 a.m. for me, and we headed to sleep. So, let's flip the page in our story. Now on to chapter four, Deja Vu. <gasps> We're live, we're not raided. I was mentally prepared when I was making my coffee for the worst, so. This is Paul. Luckily, we were not raided, and per usual, like any morning on any Rust adventure I ever go on, it was time to do some farming. I grabbed a jackhammer, and Snuffy and I ran over to the other side of launch site to hit some nodes. Wait, there's a guy on me, has he? There are two, there are two. Close. Can you come? I'm running. I'm running. One dead. 
the other one's really, really weak. Oh, I'm gonna peek. Da da da. Woo! This guy just uh, saw a kit. Oh, yo, that guy had some shit. Nice. That's all for me. That was my last spot. We should go home. There was a pretty ridiculous amount of farm in that area. Everything we just got had taken no more than 10 minutes, and with no shots around to go to, we decided to run right back. Of course we should go back. Do you want to go to that? We should. Bolte. I, I don't have much on me. I have fucking Bolte. I can fucking stomp them in. Huh? No, they're st still in front. 325. My blind. 325. I am lost. I do not see a single person. 125. 125. Next to the big rock. 125. Um, I, I don't. I or 325. Whatever. Just start pushing to them, I'll just follow you. I'll take your word for it. I hear him. Could take some help, Stevie. Oh, you're over there. Are you Bolty? Is that you? Yeah, they're all on me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm running as fast as I... I'm, I'm on a flank if you can just stay alive. Oh, I see them. And they see me. This is bad. They're behind the rock. I, I think I downed one. I downed one. I downed LR. There's a guy behind me. What that? What down? What down? What down? There's a, it was a naked. I killed him. Uh, I'm checking combat log. Two point. He's dead. He's down. He's down. He's gonna get picked. I'm pushing. He's on. Wait, yeah, yeah. He's running. Wait. He's on me. Oh, on this rock. On this rock. Uh, I'm gonna wall. I walled. He, he's on top. Killed him. Nice. M39 on me. I'm pushing him. I'm gonna push him. Twice, three times. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Guy, okay, so it okay. Get that guy's gone. That guy's gone. I'm, I'm just gonna come back. Kill him. I can give you a lot if you want. Hollow. Yeah. No, it's hollow. You can't use it. What? I'm gonna I use, use hollow. Wait, I, I give it for it. Yeah. I'm gonna loot this guy. If you can just give me pistol ammo, I'm gonna use the lot for now. Take him. Take this. I'll give you. Okay. Let's go home. Yep. Oh, I, I see him. Is that him? Just twice. Dead. Nice, nice, nice. This that guy had everything. This, this, that was the last guy? Oh, this guy's. Yo, that kid got. Your guys' teammate got grubbed and then I headshot him. You guys are welcome. <laughs> we were gonna take it, but you guys could have it. <laughs> How nice of this guy. Look. I got, I got my toss at. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go home. Yeah. Our base really isn't that strong yet, but it kind of looks meaty with the, the half wall layer and the honeycomb and all that. Just got deep out here. Yeah, same. <sighs> that was a good run. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Kill one. Uh, okay, back up. Back up. I'm back in. Are you good on health? 6 HP. You got the rift. There are more, right? I think so. I don't know. Okay. I think he was alone. I don't think he was. He might be like crouching around up at this base somewhere. Did that guy? Did that guy have AK? No. Okay, there are more. There are more than. Yep, 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 yep. Him once, there two, there two, there two. Back, back up, back up, back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's hold a ridge, like a, a little crossfire. I'm good. On health. This is perfect. This is perfect. Is, is, are you running? No. Okay, they're, they're close. They're just... They're beelining you. Yeah. Okay. This is good. This is good. He's close on me. Close. On me. One dead. I'm peeking. Two dead. N nice. There might be another. You're f***ing see. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all of them. No shot, Snuffy.
No way. <laughs> no way you killed them that fast. Oh my <laughs> You're a fucking <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, nice. <laughs> oh. I think I was fing stumped. Dude, I was ready to shoot that second guy he dropped so fast, like. It doubled him. I didn't even get a chance to shoot, man. Now, really quick, before we continue on with the story, if you've liked this video so far, or at the end, if you like how it turns out, and you want to know a way to support me, all I ask is that you go over to Twitch. And you drop a follow on Snuffy's channel. That's going to be the first link in the description. A lot of you know he's been my main duo partner for two years now. And while I consider myself the brains of the operation, there is no doubt that he is way, way better than me and most people at Rust. And now he's streaming just about every single day. So it would mean a lot to me and of course a lot to him if you tuned in. Oh, and he was streaming this entire adventure, meaning you guys may be able to see one of these stories play out live, all the grind, the progression, the planning that goes into it. But with that being said, let's get back to it because this is when things start getting juicy. Okay, I used most of our stone. We have 21 walls. Should be able to make a compound soon. Um, 22. Actually, I'm still crafting some. We have one C4 in the base, right? I'm not sure. I think so, though. There's a guy running to uh, launch that right now. Oh, fuck it. I want to see what he's wearing. Oh, there are two of them. They're kitted. They came from our neighbor's base. That's Bolty. It, it, it's M2, bro. Let's take this. Come back, come back, come back. Nah. It's Nuffy, it's M2. Really? Yes, yes. It, it's a. It's gonna be a big fight, or at least they're gonna take Bradley like a thousand percent. There's another Bolty. There are like four of them, if unless they're just different teams. I see. I think they're, they're on close mount. They're on close mount. Yeah, he's running back to his base. Coming up. Wait, are they? Yeah, yeah. He's. They, I mean, this is so. Free. He's running back to his base right yeah, now. I'm gonna bank and then I will come. We can do exactly what we did yesterday, dude. This is so perfect. Grab M2 with like silencer and we can you can send these trees. I have si oh we have silencer, yeah. Yeah we do, we do, we do. Hmm. Uh, we have silencer in the box. I'm gonna come and grab LR. I can I can give you LR, yeah. Forex. Yeah. I think they're taking it from the second mound. Which, which is ideal. Oh. <laughs> there they go. Thank you. Put away my MP5, then I'll be ready. I see him. Wait, come down, come, come on right, come on right. <laughs> this, is, this is perfect, dude. We can get so close. In these, right yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Just, just keep, put, just keep running through them. Keep running through them. We can go really far forwards. They're right in front. They're taking it from this mound. I'm scared. I see one. Okay, wait, wait for me. Wait. Gonna pop it. End to death. Nice, nice. There's gonna be another. There's no. another. There's another. Fire. He's running to PUBG. I can't see. I can't see. He's, he's got PUBG. Go, go take the tempo. Okay, I'm running. Speak it. Dead, dead, nice, dead, dead, dead. nice, nice, thank you, thank you. Last guy is to be PUBG, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna loot. I'm here. Just cover, just cover. I'm gonna loot the other guy in a sec. Yeah, he's over there for sure, for sure. Right side. There's another, I'm getting shot. I, you killed me, I think. You ran in front of me. Alright, pick me. You're up. Okay, okay, okay. Come, 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 come. We, we really just need to get that M2 and go, because they're going to be coming back from their base. Where's the guy that killed me or shot me? Uh, Donald, silver. Just get that. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. Loop, yeah. Loop, loop, loop. We need to go right. Okay, that bolty. We need to go right. We need to go left side. Bro, we it's need to go right, it. I think. No, we have to go left side. Okay, Doesn't we're just me. running to where they're going to come from now. You have AK? No, I don't have AK. I think I had MP5. Okay. They're fine. Listen, listen. They're going to be guys to our left. Yeah, no. Come, come, come right now. Come right now. We're on, on top of the hill, yeah. 
We gotta go the around. Just... Ooh, ooh. We yeah, can't all the way up. Run straight to our base. Keep a high on the left side, though. Yeah, on him. I'm hit again. They're good over here. They're gonna be. They're gonna be in these rocks to our left. Yeah, I know. I'm looking out. Do you have two M2s? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. I'm good. He's coming. Okay. Dead. Oh. You're running in front of my bullet again. <laughs> you shot me again. <laughs> We gotta go left, we gotta go more left. If they're even suspicious that we live up here, they're gonna raid us. So. Watch out, Stevie. That's, that, that's at you, that's at you, that's I'm at you. I'm headshot. Yeah, no. I don't see him. Uh, yeah, I can, I can just run. I see him. He's, he's full no, dead, let, headshot. Don't, don't, come, just come. I think we're good. Care for roof. Just don't run yeah. base yet. I mean, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do a big loop around the left side of this mountain. Yeah. You want the M2? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you, thank you. We should be out of sight or soon. Hmm. I don't think we can run down yet. He's on the roof. Like, we need to go on top of the hill. Yep, like, yep. just keep yeah. going. They're probably following us, how's he guys? You know what? Do I have any cloth on you? Uh, 46. Stash that empty, let's go back. That's actually a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah. You have anything to stash? I don't. Actually, I can, but... Let's go to the bodies and see if there's still the gear we didn't loot. Or if they've already looted it. Anything there? I think he got it, to be honest. Yeah, probably. They're over there fighting at the rocks. It's over quarry. We should go. There we go. Not on roof. What about it? I, I got some stuff. It's one of them. I see him. Where? He said shot double hit. Is he dead? No. He's alive. I'm, I'm switching the hollow. I'm just going to push him. Bedrock. He shot me. Just give me a second, I'll kill him. Can you shoot him? He's dead. <laughs> oh my god, he scared me. I flinched. Nice. Can you can you cover me? I think that might go to roof. Looking over there. Switching to 4x. Just I'm holding roof. He's not on the roof. Okay, 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 okay. Some stuff lying on the ground here. I got an HV rocket, a med, and an MP5. <laughs> nice. Are we safe to go back to base? Or are they on roof? No, we can. They're not looking at base. Like, okay, 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 okay. We just gotta be careful. I'm telling you, those guys have to be so pissed at us, dude. The M2 got insta dropped. Yeah, he did. I was putting in work. I finished him. He finished him. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking second guy got insta dropped as well. If you think about it, by rushing the first body there, I baited that second guy to peek the mound. Yeah. No, but it, it has been pretty clear, though, when these guys take Bradley, they just don't consider themselves ever at risk when they're running to launch site. Like, that area in between, they just... I don't know. It, it's literally a gold mine because of their complacency. Like, we could perma just wait for them to take Bradley and do this again and again and again. doesn't matter that there are four of them. So, this time around, the plan had gone even smoother than the previous day. Everything worked perfectly. We'd snuck up behind them as they were taking Bradley, we'd killed all of them, we'd gotten the loot back to our base safe and sound. Deja vu is pretty self-explanatory. It was just like the previous day. Now we had profited another M2 off of them. But this is where things kind of get a little bit interesting, because you just heard me say we could kind of permanently do this, wait for them to take Bradley and then kill them when they do. But after this fight, ATP disappeared, just like the previous night, except now it was kind of midday, early afternoon. There was no reason for them to be offline, but we looked into their compound and they just weren't there. To probably rage quit it again. <laughs> Dude, I actually think they did. <laughs> Like they did yesterday, when they lost them too. Yeah. I got the rocket launcher with H rocket as well. Very nice, very nice. We're loaded actually now, looking at it. Just in these front no. boxes even. Oh, these 22 walls. I should probably make the compound now. I think we have a lot of stuff to do it. 
And that is exactly what we did for the next 20 to 30 minutes or so. It took a while because, you know, our base was situated on a rocky hillside, so we didn't even think we were going to be able to get the compound down in the first place, but placing each wall one by one very, very carefully, eventually we were able to connect all of them. And we were even able to include a custom external gate and a high external gate to the compound. So we had two entrances and two exits. There was very little room inside, but even still we were able to squeeze two large furnaces and have room for a third or an oil refinery whenever we decided to make one or buy one. Now I said ATP had disappeared and I meant it. They stayed gone. It had been about 30 minutes since we countered them at launch site once we were finished building our compound and throughout the entire process we hadn't seen them once. Not on their roof, not in their compound, not at mining outpost, not at launch site. We heard no shots, nothing. But we weren't done with these guys yet, not by a long shot. We had an idea on how we were going to draw them out. We figured they were still online, just probably AFK, watching a video, eating food, something of the sort. Launch site, rather, Bradley had been theirs the entire wipe. So, we were going to take Bradley right in front of them, and surely they would come to counter. This wasn't going to be like the previous night where when we took Bradley they were probably long asleep. This time around they were on. We knew it. We could feel it. Four of them, by the way. You probably noticed when we just countered them at Bradley there were four of them. There was Mr. Yoda and Shreyway that we already knew of, the most common names we'd been seeing, but there was also this new name that started with U and Farmer Matt, that both were most likely with ATP. So we got all ready. We gathered together all of our HV rockets, some that we got from the Bradley run the previous night, some that we had just got from them, and we ran over to launch site to take Bradley for ourselves. We were prepared for a big fight. Now time to flip the page. On to chapter 5. The Thieves' Discovery. I got some McDonald's Sprite. Oh my gosh, it's hitting. Delicious. Tastes like shit, it's so watery. Huh? So much water inside the McDonald's in Sprite. That's very good. I don't know about that. Maybe in Estonia, not in America though, dude. They got it figured out here, I swear. There's probably a lot like more sugar in America as well in the fucking Sprite. Cause you all fat ass. <laughs> okay, come on, man. All right, I'm going top silo. Holy shit, that did so much damage. I'm up. Sheesh. Hmm. If you take it kind of anywhere down beneath me, in front of me, it'll be perfect. Nice. Now we wait. That's good, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's nice. You know, I think whenever our neighbors die, they just log off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think that as well. I mean, they make like no effort to get any of their loot back. I mean, they're kind of down bad as well, like <laughs> minus three M2s or yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Are you ready if they come? I mean, I have one PvP rocket. So I, can... I see a full metal guy northwest at the train station. Wait, what? He has an L9. He's looking this way. I think... Yeah, the box is out. I'm going. Okay. I think he just saw me and left. There's like two armor, double armor doors, fucking four eggs, what was five five ammo. <sighs> Not terrible. Not great. Yeah. Though. I, I got the X five ammo. That's alright then. Dude, they have to be fully off. If we took Bradley and they didn't come to counter, they're all they're off. They're just off. That's bizarre. Kind kind kinda wanna go oil to be honest. Like we can buy a heli. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather not buy one that we don't have much scrap. Actually, we may not have to buy a heli. What I'm thinking is, no reason to let our neighbor's heli just decay, right? If they're off, we could so easily make a build up, compound bow out the turret, and just yoink that heli. There's you actually want to do it. It's like, <laughs> I'm down. I actually kind of do. It doesn't take long. Yeah. It's like a free 750 scrap. Down for that. Let's do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Grab us some compound bows and a bunch of arrows in. I'm putting my kit away. We should probably just go like MP5 has these sets, I think. All right, I'm ready. I'm full. I got a bunch of arrows. Got a compound bow. Got some knocks. Got the cover of darkness. Yeah, but the right one is gonna shoot us. Huh. So we have to shoot out too then? Actually, wait. I guess so. 
and start doing it. Yeah, yeah, might as well. We can see it from here. Wait, is that a flashlight in their base? They're probably active. I'm just gonna do it. I think, uh, it might be a turret. I'll just do it. That. Let's go <laughs> on to the next oh, one. Oh shut! You can build so close. Oh my god! Yeah. Can we see it from here? Uh, can you build floor, one floor out? Mm -hmm. If we're able to see it from here, oh, that's perfect. It's done. Let's go! Back <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm going. Check his right, standard log rate in Tinge. I don't think I can. Ooh, attachments. Is, you can I, check I, how much log rate is in I, the fucking heli. Oh, the heli. Oh, for the heli. I thought you meant the flamethrower. The flamethrower has low grade, and the heli doesn't. Can you give me I'm some? I'm gonna go bring some, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm shooting this out, so maybe I can get some. Um... I just heard a footstep. I think they're online. Yep. Yep. One of them's online. Are they? A million percent. On the roof, on the roof. Hit him! Oh no. I shot him. Toss over the low grade. Oh, oh, I, 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 I see it. I see it. I see it. I know. I see it. I see it. I see it. Are you full dead? Yeah, yeah I'm dead. Okay. I'm gonna run back. I don't. I'm kind of screwed. You got the low grade. I can't get it. He'll kill me if I do. He, he's peeking on me. I hit him. I. I I'm dead. Die. He doubled me, bro. Oh my god. It's Yoda. Run right, back, we just need to kill him a couple times on the roof and we're chilling. Here's the building stuff to get back over. I'm gonna hold it this tree, you should be good. He I hit him. He can't peek, he can't peek. Try building over now. Speaking See him? Again. He's headshot, he's headshot, he might be. He be he's probably full down. Okay, I'll hold it down, just go get low grade. I think he's on timer or something. You're Not good to take off. Everybody. Yeah. He, if he peeks you, he will die. Let's go. Oh, he's on the roof. He's on the roof. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Pick come me in, up. Come in. Come in. Come in. Okay. He he should be be on timer. Should be. Yeah. I'm gonna yoink that L9. We dip. Okay. Okay. Yo, his ladder hatch is yeah, open. You can turret, fucking turret, maybe go to full deep. Just I don't know about this, dude. Drop down, drop down, and go for it. I'm good. The scrap hill is kind of like saving me. What do you see, says TV? He's full dead. Go down, go down the ladder hatch. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. It, it's in her peaks, it's in her peaks. Wait, what? Uh, uh, dude. Just wait there, he, there's no way he will see, no, no, he will know. No, no, he was down, he saw me go down, he saw me come. Uh, okay. Dude, these are the inner peaks through one ladder hatch, by the way. I can come and pick up if you go, like, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm up, I'm on the roof. I need to get his stuff. I got the L9. I got the metal kit. Don't even bait it. I'm I'll not, come. I'm not, I'm not, I'm looting. Wait, there's a box. There's, there's a, a box. Get the AK. I know. <sighs> I'm lit. Don't die. Whatever you do. 
kind of in a really bad spot. Wait, just is that jump the AK? down. I'll pick you. I see the AK. I see the AK. I gotta go for it. Look at kill the belt. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is really bad. He respawned. He respawned. He respawned. I need to jump. I have to jump. He's opening doors. I, I gotta make a run for it. I'm going. I make it! I make it! Stevie, come here! Ah. Yeah, pick me up! Pick me up! I saw that in a Frost video and it <laughs> went way different. Do you have meds? No. Alright, well we gotta leave, like, right now. Come in. If I get hit one time, I'm gonna die, by the way, so... You're good. I'm the best player in the EU. Alright, the AK, I was so close. Fuck it, fuck the AK. <sighs> you don't wanna get fucking... By that oh, no, no. It's worth it. It's worth it. We got the L9, bro. Easy heli. Oh my god, that was so perfect. Well, not actually, that was pretty far from perfect, but you know, like, <laughs> we did what we were trying to do. I said we go oil rig now. I mean, we got a heli. So to oil rig, we went and we took it successfully. Now, it was a normal run. No one came to counter, so I'm not going to show any of it. But we got a little bit of extra explosives from the crate, which, of course, was nice. And we came back to our base and depoted everything. And then we ran to launch site. But while we were there, we were killed. God. I'm, I'm getting suppressed. I'm down. I'm dead. I have another one. Someone was posted on top of one of the buildings with a silenced LR and killed both Snuffy and I, so, of course, we ran back. I mean, they should be fighting over the Bradley loot right now. I'm just gonna boost over. The silence guy's close. I'm down what? again. What? What? I'm dead somehow. God, the exact same outcome. Now at this point, I was a little bit frustrated, but we weren't giving up yet. I spawned in an outside bag because my bag in the base had a timer on it and ran back to our base to grab another kit to try to go back again. But then, I'm almost back inside. Okay, we're getting door camped. Are we? Yeah. Oh, he's kind of oblivious. What's up? Uh, custom, I'm dead. That's, oh my god. Oh, no shot, it's them. I'm close, I'm gonna try to get in the custom gate. Where is it? I'm not sure, which side? All right, I'm in. All right, you ready? Let's go. They're gonna be out here one way. He's behind us. Nice, nice. One more. Another? Uh, good shit, good shit. Do I have walls? One back outside. Now? Yeah, yeah, we do inside. <laughs> Snake it, DB. Right. Maybe they're not here. I think we're good. He's dead. Okay, oh my in. god, man. And now they're on the roof. Oh my god. Hello, Treyway. These guys. It was only a matter of time before it happened. ATP knew where we lived. Now, we can only assume it was probably when we took their heli. They watched exactly where it landed. And that was a mistake on our part for bringing it right back to our base. But... What was done, was done. We honestly were not surprised in the slightest that they had come over to door camp us, but after those M2 shots, it seemed like they gave up. We took the opportunity to quickly run outside and make some external TC so they couldn't build over something like that later on if they wanted to. But that did not change the fact that we felt like them door camping us ruined our opportunity to come back into that fight at launch site. And so, justifiably, some punishment needed to be dished out. They had a nice scrap helicopter sitting atop their roof and we happened to have some rocket launchers and HV rockets. So it was only right that we ran over to get some sort of small revenge. Dude, doing this, we might be getting ourselves raided, I think. <laughs> they will be. <laughs> we'll see.
Easy shot. Not easy. That's what if we miss all of our rockets? How humiliating <laughs> would that be? Dude, I. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Shots, oh no, dude. No shot, I missed that. Oh. Bro, there's aim cone, there's aim cone, I swear. <laughs> there's aim cone on the rocket launcher. No. Aim gun. There is aim gun. There is oh, aim cone. Let's go, let's go. This is my last one. Let's get, one. On. Let's get, get out of here. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> there are oh. fireworks. Oh, fi what? They blow up there and scrap it. They have fireworks on the roof. That's a, a victory what? for us, I swear to god. Wait. That is victory wait, for wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. Why are fireworks blowing up? That's a big. They had, they had fireworks on top of the roof, yeah, ready. But we blew them scrappy, so it. Set off their fireworks. Oh, they can't be happy. No, oh, no. <laughs> A nice view. That's a victory right there, dude. It is. Why'd they let it happen, though? You know? And that really was the question to be asked. No one, and I mean no one, would just let their helicopter get HV rocketed for several minutes without trying to defend it at all. No matter what, even if they weren't planning on using it again for the rest of the day or something, they wouldn't let it happen. But they had, which could only mean, again, these guys had gotten offline. Bizarre. But no time to think about it too hard because a couple minutes later there were shots near launch site. A group of full metal guys was running towards it and they were fighting someone else. So of course we kitted up and ran out to fight. Yo, full kit, full kit. It's okay, okay, okay. I'm three of them. I don't have any walls, but I'm leaving right now. Where are they? I can. Uh, oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. They're running to launch. Yeah, they are. Okay. Um. Wait, they're in front of us. 40, 40, 40. Yeah, I see three. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. They're waiting uh, for they you. See us, they see us, they see us, they see us. I see you, they saw you. <laughs> Catch out one. Uh, blue guy, blue guy. Down. Nice, nice. Full dead, full dead. Good shit. Uh, I hit the guy under the car. You can shoot underneath the car. He doesn't have any cover. Okay. He's running. I missed. I'm pushing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're getting grabbed. They, yeah, they, they're, they're getting, getting run grabbed. Upon. This is perfect. There's a guy close. Uh, L9 in, in the tower, maybe? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. M2, he's M2. In the tower? He's cover. M2? Oh no, my position is given away. You good? Has he on me hit twice? No, um, I have no cover. I have to push this guy. I think he's behind this rock. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, shot. Coming out with him 39, four times. I see him, I see him. He's in the, yeah, he's in the tower. Yeah. Headshot him. Can you shoot him? I can't, can I can't. Okay. Keep shooting, keep shooting, Stevie. All right, give me a sec. I can't, I can't really hit him. Okay, nice. He has to be dead. He has to be dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's not. He's not. Okay. I, I headshot one pushing. They're pushing to him. Headshot him again. He's dead. Nice, nice, bro. I'm pushing down. Hold on. They're close. I'm fifth. Are you dead? Nah. Uh, okay, they, get up in base. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just waiting. They have to push up that ladder to get the M2 set, right? So I'll just hold it. I see them, both of them. They're gonna see me. I see one's pushing rocks. They do see you. I, I headshot blue. I whiffed. No shot, man. I'm here, I'm here. He's on the rock. Body shot, headshot. Hey, he's full dead, full dead, full dead. Good shit. And, and I hit M2. There's last guy M2. He's, he's in blue. He's beside the truck. See him. Right. One dead, one dead, two dead. Nice, nice, nice. Is last guy has he? No, he's full kit. Okay. Um. 
There's two, there's two alive. They're getting okay, okay, okay. The solar. I'll kill them in one second. They're getting hard back. Hello, dead. Full dead. There's only one, only one alive. 100%? Yeah. I got one M2. You got it? Nice. Oh, I got a metal body here. I got a lower body. Tell me the direction. No, no, I got it. It's near the rocks. I have all this stuff. I mean, the, the last guy must have left. No one else is here. Okay. Let's yeah, let's go. Let's just step. <laughs> Easy M2. <laughs> Ooh. That was that was kind of good. I mean, we lost L9, but we got M2, so I'd say worth. Now, ATP not going to that fight that was pretty much right outside their compound walls was a solid indication that they were indeed offline, like we had suspected. Despite it being around 8 p.m., which was kind of prime time, the server was completely full. There were more players on it now than had been at any point throughout the day. But we were kind of fine with this because over the next couple of hours, there was non-stop PvP. It seemed like the entire server was outside running around. And of course, Snuffy and I were all for it. Oh, he's jumping in front of you. Play it safe. Oh, I hit the guy behind <laughs> you on the rock. Make it safe. I'm dead. Uh, double dome. He's not dead. Double this teammate. He has to be dead. I'm really weak. One of them running back. Headshot. Metal. He's running. He's dead. see them oh they might push you holy beam he beamed you that yeah there are loads there's more than one you know i don't think there are two. Oh, there's three oh. well they don't know i'm here this is kind of perfect i they're hard pushing they're hard pushing you i have to push over to you uh shoot metal twice three times he's dead he's dead Full dead. Hit him as well. nice one dead nice Two left, two left, two left. I'm just gonna loot this. I'm low on, I'm low on mid, so I have four left. This guy's got you covered. Let's just go. Oh, this guy's whiffing. Here it come. Okay. Let's go to that rocket raid. You wanna go straight? I'm gonna grab some mid section. Yeah. So you see them right in front? Yeah, it's that tower. It's that tower base. Did they, they they just breached? They're just running. They're just running with the loot. I see him. He's in the open field. Twice. Three times. Dead. I'm whiffing. He's got a launcher on I his back. I didn't want to want something. Okay. We should push to him, I guess. Four rockets. Nice, nice. I think they live up here. Yeah, one's coming. Body shot, headshot one. They're, they're at the space. Headshot one. Watch out, watch out. Uh, Full killed another. Yeah, I see one on the left side as well. Watch out. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna push to him. It's just one. I'm gonna get it's him. One. I'm gonna have left flank on him. Okay, I'm gonna push right after I'm dead. Speaking me. Okay. Hit him once. He's dead. Nice. I'm gonna go loot. Guy picking the other side. This guy's a lot of meds and ammo. Getting sword. Okay, I'll, I'll shoot him if he peeks me. He's peeking. He's, he's, he's dead in the door. I, I'm I'm really weak. I'm one shot. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Stevie, we should go. I know. I know. I want to loot these guys though. Uh, I have four extra extra bullets. Like okay, that's bad. Fifty plus four. Give me one sec. So many meds. Alright. That's tough. I bet us. Okay. Dead. Nice. Let's push to that. I got the AK. I got the AK. Ooh, okay. We should depot. We should depot. We should just make sure we're in profit. Oh my god, bro. We're rolling in the kits, man. Thank you. Let's go.
Okay. So a white left, right. To it. You still should be here fighting. Okay. I'll top the vault. Okay. I help. I'll be there in a sec. I'm far behind. One, seven, twice, three times. He's re he's really weak on you. Guy near me. Hit him. Hit the guy at the barricades. There's a guy on this rock beside me. And he's peeking me. I think I'm pushing everywhere. Can you kill him? If he peeks. He... No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. The guy on me. On me. Sorry, me. He's hit twice. I have ult. God, this guy's pe gonna peek again. He's full dead, sorry, he's full dead. He had a bolty on his back or something. Killed MP5. Nice. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. MP5 was AK as well. Okay, okay. Hit him four times, he's dead, one's dead on your body. Yeah, MP5. You can go loot, I'm covering. I didn't want to stay there. Oh, you good? What was that? Guy close. Twice. Sorry. Peeking. Twice. Just I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just take off. Just take off. Come in. Come, come uh, in. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Turn around. I'll doink that guy, bro. No, no, no. I'm okay, okay. Peeping. Oh, go low, go low. What is happening? <laughs> what the oh my yeah. god. These guys really think they're gonna hit us with an HV rocket. Damn. No shot. Bro, PvP is going crazy. Okay, I say we grab our HVs and go launch right now. And you fly up to the top of the building. Like right away. Pick me up. Okay, I think I think we take it right like in the middle outside here. Nah, like, in the middle. Middle that they have no cover. No, no, no. Let, oh, there are guys inside. What about this intersection, though? Like, right here. They have nowhere to go. I don't know. Just fly up. We'll figure it out. <sighs> there are guys here, though, so be careful. Oh, I see one. Running. One twice. This guy on me as well. Three times, four times. Loads of guys. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Just try to land. Just try to jump off if you can. Can you get off? <sighs> nice. I put out. No shot, you're down. I bled out there. Okay. I think they're pushing me, maybe? There are loads. One, sh one should be double. One last. Another dead. Another three times. Kind of whiffing. They're, they're running back inside. They're just kind of holding your heli. Another twice. Hmm. They're on the balcony now. I headshot him. Oh yeah, I don't think he could thought that I could see him. Another down. Two of them are down. I can't finish them though. They're like I just can't see him. So got a guy in the ground pushing. He he's dead. I need to get his ammo. Get a stack and a half. Guy on single silo. Where are they? Single silo on balcony. Still balcony? Yeah, he's on top. He's like on the top of the thingy. I shot single silo. They have no meds, dude, I swear. Double the one. Nice. Sure. On the far silo. They're both over there, I'm pretty sure. The last two. But they're going to be running back. One running in. Dead. Full dead. I think. One or two more. Oh, I killed the guy here. I killed one here. One more. One more. Full dead. Full dead. I think that's all of them. I don't know no where they were.
Now we were in a pretty serious predicament because Snuffy had tried to fly to the top of this building with an M249 metal set so he could cover me when I took Bradley. It's a really nice spot to hold, but the issue is the only way to get up there is with a helicopter or with a four-person boost, and we only had two people, and now our helicopter was broken with his body dead up there. It would only be an hour before the M249 despawned, so whatever we decided to do, we needed to do it quick. We didn't have enough scrap to go buy another minicopter, and we were concerned because this five-plus man group was well aware that Snuffy had died up there, and they would probably try to boost up themselves to get the M2 kit. They had the people to do it. Now, Snuffy and I ran over and tried to boost up ourselves, just the two of us, and we realized we were actually getting pretty close. Maybe we wouldn't need four people, maybe just three, maybe just one extra person is all we needed, so we went looking around in our area for the next 20 or 30 minutes. But every second that passed, we got more and more nervous as that M2 was getting closer and closer to despawning. But as nighttime came, we saw someone running just around launch site in some primitive gear, and so we asked for their help. Need to ask this guy for help? Yeah. Yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yo, come, 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 we need you, come. Just come with us, come with us, come. Yo, bro, we're gonna give you guns, okay? <laughs> okay. We just need, we just need a little help. Do I have any friends? Come, come, come with me, come with me. You don't have friends? <laughs> no, I'm not Just come, 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 come. Can you do that jump? Like, on top here? <laughs> Okay, you might you might need the booster. Oh, chop on top of my head! Chop on top of my head! Okay, explain kind of like what we need. There you go. Can you stand here? We need to get we need, we kill the guy on top of that, yeah, and we need to loot him. So you okay. we need your boost. Wait. Go. Okay, jump, yeah. jump, yeah, Snuffy, yeah. jump with all you've got. I'm close. Oh, I'm up. No shot. Let's go! Let's go, it's all still here. No way we did it with three people, dude. Okay, let's go back to base. We need to give her some loot. That was just so clutch. Now, of course, as promised, we took the person that had helped us back to our base to give them a kind of reward. We could not have done it without them. And by the time we'd gotten to that roof, there was no more than 10 or 15 minutes left before the M2 kit despawned. We told her the whole truth about how it was actually our body that we were retrieving from the roof, and we gave her some essential items that she would need for blueprints, like a garage door and a ladder, as well as some tier 2 gear sets, scrap, and gunpowder. Then we parted ways. She ran back to her base with all of the loot, and we gathered H HV rockets and a rocket launcher to go back to launch site to take Bradley like we had planned. I'm gonna get the top of silo. It went swimmingly. A bunch of guys actually came over to launch site to try to counter the Bradley take, but they all came from the same direction. So we watched through our scopes as they pretty much killed each other off at the edge of launch site. It was perfect. We looted everything, including, yes, another M2, and ran back to our base. Now, after we dropped off the loot, we ran back to launch site to see if the guys were still there and we could get some AK sets, but it seemed like everyone had kind of run away. But then... Good. Oh my god. You killed them? Yeah, but they're back, man. Another one on top of the hill. So we killed the door camper, which again, yes, was ATP, but as quite a few of them were now outside of our compound walls running around, a harsh reality was beginning to set in. They had not come to any of the PvP in the area over the past couple of hours, and just recently they had not come to try to counter launch site. This wasn't them giving up. <laughs> This was them changing their game plan. We knew what they were doing, they were checking up on us. Specifically, they were waiting for us to get offline. The reason we thought that they didn't come to launch site to counter Bradley is because at this point they really did not care how much loot we were getting. They were planning to offline raid us and get everything we had taken from them back. And as we thought back on the past couple of days, that made a lot of sense. We really couldn't think of any single time where they did a significant raid in the area, but we did see them multiple times go out on farm runs, and their shop was only selling items for sulfur. They had to have a lot of it. They had to have a stockpile of explosives. And based on everything we put them through, we could almost guarantee that those explosives were going right into our walls as we slept. But with this looming over us, our probable downfall, we couldn't just stand by and let it happen. We had to try to do something. 
Now, many of you know, there's no way to win Rust. There's no win condition. There's no victory royale, no team deathmatch victory, anything of the sort. It's much more abstract than that, but I like to make it not so abstract. So I think of any given Rust adventure like a boxing match between you and your biggest rival. And I think a lot of you guys probably think of Rust in a similar way, maybe just subconsciously. Every single time you take a little bit of gear, or maybe resources, recyclables, farm from your biggest rival, you hit them with a punch. And every single time they do that to you, they hit you with a punch. And when everything is said and done and both groups have gotten off for the wipe, whichever group has hit the other with more punches, like in boxing, wins the match, wins the wipe. But I'm sure a lot of you understand that it really doesn't matter how many punches you land on your opponent in a boxing match and how few they land on you, if they hit you with one solid punch and knock you out, then they win. No matter what has previously happened, that is exactly what ATP was shooting for. They knew we'd been hitting them with jabs, left hooks, uppercuts, we were thrashing them. But if they raided us, they took everything back that we had taken from them, they would win. And so we needed to think of a way to prevent this. To make it so that ATP could not successfully offline raid us, and what immediately came to mind were two options. Option one, we could go out, we could do some farming, we could upgrade our base significantly, we could make it thick so they wouldn't have enough explosives to raid it, so when we woke up the next morning, our base would still be standing and we would win. Or there was option two, we could go off a ways on the side of a hill or in the woods somewhere and make a 2x2, two two, and put a bunch of boxes inside and transfer all of our loot from our main base to this 2x2. Two two. They would definitely not raid it, they'd raid our main base instead and there'd be nothing inside and we would still win. I've done this to a group before when I was in a similar situation. It works extremely well. But both of these options were passive. And you guys have to understand, I was playing with Snuffy and if there is one thing he is not, it is passive. So he wasn't for either of these two options. Instead, he came up with option three. Let's raid them. And instantly, without any hesitation, I shot the idea down. It just didn't make sense. They had a big base. We didn't have many explosives. There were at least four of them. If we went over and we raided them and we failed, not only would they get that small bit of satisfaction of successfully defending a raid, but then when we got off, they would just offline raid us still. And we would lose the wipe just even harder than if we had done nothing. But... <laughs> Snuffy was not taking no for an answer, so we sat in our base, and I really thought about it, deeply. I thought back on the wipe that we had had so far, I looked back through all of my footage to see if there was any way to make it work, and there was a lot more to this option 3 than meets the eye. Pay attention very carefully. Yes, the base design was very thick, it was all metaled up, and there were four external TCs that were connected to the main building that would mean raiding it would be extremely difficult. But maybe not. This chapter is titled The Thieves' Discovery because at the very beginning we ran over to take the minicopter, as you guys remember. But afterwards, we went on the roof, and then we jumped down into the ladder hatch. And that's when we realized that ladder hatch led directly into their inner peak downs. This is a significant building flaw. It's kind of the same as if a high-level government building had triple biometric security on all of the front doors, but then there was a back door that led right inside from an alleyway that just had a simple key lock. If we could safely get to their roof, one C4, or one rocket and a handful of explosive ammo, could literally bypass all of their honeycomb. It could bypass all of the doors that were built into their design and get us right to their core area. Now, to expand on this mistake, to speak on the core of their base, you'll notice it's a 3x3. Three Let's go back to chapter one. When I was building our base at the beginning of the wipe, I specifically talked about how I don't like to build two by twos and three by threes because they are just really, really predictable. With three by threes, like ATP's core was, you can pretty safely assume that the tool cupboard of the base, that the main loot is going to be in the opposite corner as the door to the 3x3. Definitely not all of the time, but most of the time. This allowed us to pretty safely gauge exactly how many explosives we would need to get to this opposite corner and to open up all of the loot rooms on the first floor. And by looking at the explosives that we did have, because of the four rockets we got from countering this raid here, and because of the C4 we had just got at Bradley, plus the boom from Oil Rig and the boom from Bradley the previous night, we might just barely have enough to open up their first story. So looking at this third option, the base design was kind of in our favor. 
but we were going to need much more than that. Because it didn't matter how flawed their base design was, if they were online, there were only two of us raiding and we would have to be coming in from the roof. We would just get killed, we would have no way to return, and we would lose the raid instantly. And this wasn't a far-fetched thing at all. It's very, very common for people to just AFK in their base, to watch YouTube videos, to watch Netflix, to eat food, and wait for a raid to come. So at the time, that's what we expected of ATP, for them to be AFK in their base, meaning that no matter their base flaws, we weren't going to be able to choose option three. But in looking back through my footage, something caught my eye. All the way back to chapter 3, I said it would be important and I am not one to lie. Because after we had taken that original M2 set with the plan that night, they logged off. They just got off the server. We thought that they'd rage quit for the night because they lost so much gear. But you'll notice that when we were running to Mining Outpost to recycle, we saw a scrap helicopter on their roof that was on fire, meaning it was low HP. But when we passed their base 10 to 15 minutes later, that same scrap helicopter was repaired. They don't just repair themselves. This meant after they lost that M2 set, they did not get off like we thought. They were just missing. But where had they been for the past two hours? Well, something bizarre that we noticed about this wipe so far that a lot of you guys have probably noticed is that consistently, every single time ATP lost gear sets, they got offline for one to two hours, no exceptions. This here at the end of the third chapter is when I first noticed it in my footage. But then I looked through the footage on the second day and realized that yes, indeed, it was a trend. Deja vu, after we took the M2 set from them here the second time, they got off in the same manner. An hour or so passed and then we went to steal their mini captor and they were online, but after they fired some shots at us as we were flying away, they disappeared for another hour, hour and a half, and then they were door camping us. But after we killed them a few times, again, they disappeared. And we were PvPing around the area. We'd even just now taken Bradley, and they just weren't online. But now they had popped up again. There were these weird chunks of time where they just weren't there. And normally, like I've said, you would just assume that that meant that they were AFK in their base waiting for a raid, and that's what we expected from them. But then I decided to take a peek at their Steam profiles. And it was hard to find them, but I was able to get my eyes on Mr. Yoda's Steam profile. And interestingly, his most recent game played was Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I then took a peek at his friends list to try to find the rest of their team and was only able to find Treyway and a lot of his profile was privated, but his profile picture was a CSGO op and all of his past aliases were CSGO related. So putting these pieces together was painting a picture for me. This was not only a Rust team that was playing this wipe together, but they were also a group of CSGO players. And it seemed that whenever they died, instead of running back out and throwing more gear sets away, they were just switching over to CSGO and running a few competitive games and then getting back on Rust. This perfectly explained these weird chunks of time where ATP just wasn't there. And normally I wouldn't really care, but the fact that it was CSGO was important because CSGO is a very frame rate dependent game, and Rust, as many of you probably know, is a very performance intensive game. Meaning that unless they had a ton of RAM, these guys probably did not have Rust open and on in the background while they were playing CSGO. Meaning that during these absences, they probably were not AFK in their base waiting for a raid, they were completely off the server. It was a stretch, but because Mr. Yoda's most recent game played was CSGO, that meant that they were on that game at that time. We didn't know how far along they were. Typical CSGO matches last anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes, but this meant if we were very lucky, we could maybe pull off a raid on ATP before their CSGO match finished and before they would surely come back to start playing Rust again and check on their base. Time would be of the essence. We most likely did not have a big enough window to pull this off successfully, but at the very least, it was not impossible. And so it was settled. We were going with option three. We were going to raid ATP. And so here, chapter five comes to a close, and we'll flip the page to chapter six, understandably named option three. Yo, if we die, it's over, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Like, if we die, there's no coming back. So one time thing, though. What do you say? 
That's a one time thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I thought we had way less rockets, but this is nice. I guess we just really haven't been counting them whenever we've been getting them. Yeah. Because, you know, we haven't planned on raiding. You have low grade? Yep. You have Explo? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Send me to shoot. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And now we're gonna get TV'd. Boom, boom. <laughs> both it. And he's gonna raid us with all these rockets. Imagine. I mean, we're ba our base is eight rockets, pretty much. It's true. Probably fucking two through the door right now. <laughs> so despite having a few more rockets than we thought, if they had all armored doors on that first story, it was still gonna be a really close call. We had no way to get to their roof because we no longer had a mini capture, so we were kind of forced to use a hot air balloon. They take forever to maneuver and are extremely difficult to aim well. This was going to be the longest part of this entire endeavor. If we messed up and one of us got shot out or killed by an auto turret in their compound, odds were the whole raid attempt would take much longer than we expected and there was a chance that they could be on before we really got anywhere with it. We have to jump on the roof. Not land? We don't have to land like exactly on the roof. We just, like first we're gonna see are there turrets, you know? If there yeah. is a turret, we're gonna blow up the fucking ladder hatch and then we fly close by to their base <laughs> and jump in. Like fucking, you know, Matrix? Oh, what was it? Matrix. 997? What is it? James Bond. We're gonna James go Bond down that there. Blows <laughs> Mission Impossible. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. The real question is... How to do it? Not on the roof, I don't think. Yo, we're way too high. I know, I'm dropping down, homie. Don't worry. I don't see any out there. In the compound at all? No, I mean the other roof. Yeah, there aren't any. It's good! No shot. No. No shot. Are we on? Come down. How? I don't like, think you can. In front of the window. Can't we? No, I don't think you can. Alright, wait. Uh, don't die, bro. Bro, what are you- We could, we could, we could. Alright, we're stuck. We just need to think now. Ouch. Monkey. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Maybe let's HV <laughs> that one out. Yeah. Broken. Good. Okay, we definitely can't get around though. I'm gonna have to pick us up a Wait. bit. I could try lifting us off a little bit. Oh. Oh, it worked. It worked. Oh, I could have just done that <laughs> and we didn't have to yeah. use it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, now we go through that, right? One, C one rocket and little expo. No shot. It's good. I'm stuck. Dude, it's good. You're down? No. Yeah, I'm down here. It's hiding it for us. It's hiding it for it's us. It's good. Okay. You don't know. Yo, already profit. 2C4 that armor door right now. Let's go. <laughs> okay, don't be, pl please be very, very careful, man. Wait, hold on, let's see, maybe explode cheaper? Explode cheaper, probably. I think uh, so. How much no, explode do you have total? It's okay, just, okay, uh, oh. just rocket it. Okay, let me see. Oh, to the red. Watch out, watch out. <gasps> I'm gonna three rocket it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Loot. Some shotgun trap facing one way. Some teas, some food, some gear. Oh, now we splash it. We splash it. Three, three in the exactly in the middle. I've I have three left. How many do you have? I have yeah, five. You have five. Nice. Okay. Our, oh, homie's outside. I'm turning voices off. All right, you want hit her in the mouth. Hit the middle chick in the mouth. But you're gonna have to back up at an angle so you don't take any damage. Maybe. Ow. Oh. 
Did it hurt you as well? No, I'm good. Alright, I'm shooting last. Watch out, maybe I'll do it behind. Hope not. I'm gonna exp expand with it. Oh, those these two. are, yeah, those are really weak. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> farmers! <laughs> farmers! No way, man! I told you. Look at his body. I know. Look at the other body as well. Yo, okay, so okay, 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 okay. CC? Yo, oh. yo, <laughs> yo! Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo. no! Oh, oh dude, we did it! We did it! Oh, look at the team! <laughs> no, we did it! We did it! Snuffy, we did it, man! Okay, we gotta be Let's smart. Go. I'm right, gonna explode right. my mode. Right. Explode my mode. Explode my mode. No shot! No way, man! No way! No, no way, man! No, easy. Oh, M2. There's their M2. There's their yeah, M2. No. L9. Oh my god. So many jacks. Another L9. Oh my. Okay, okay. ATP was stockpiling over 20 rockets, 10 C4, and 5 stacks of explosive ammo in their base. They were most certainly planning on raiding us. That all equals about 50 rockets worth of explosives which is kind of crazy, especially considering we had used under 20 rockets worth of explosives to get all of this. Now, with all of these extra explosives, we considered raiding the rest of their base, just blowing upwards until we got literally everything, but we realized that they had four external TCs with overlapping building privilege. We were never going to get full control of this base unless we used an absurd amount of boom. We also had to think these guys were probably going to be back on any second once their CSGO game finished to check how their base was doing. It didn't matter how much we found in their boxes, if we didn't get it back to our base safe and sound, it wouldn't count for anything. Now actually, as Snuffy was blowing upwards, he accidentally killed me with a rocket blast that shouldn't have because it was through the floor, but I re-geared in base and ran back over. We needed to get all of the best stuff back to our base, so Snuffy loaded up on all of the explosives, and the M2 and the L9, and I grabbed a bunch more gear sets and some more components, and we tried to go depot. You ready, homie? I'm bored and ready. Let's go. Come, come with me. Come with me. Go down here. Jump on top of that. And go. Oh, that's fucking easy, bro. Dude, the fact that this worked, I <sighs> crazy. So we dropped everything off and again headed over to their base, but we ran back to the unexpected. Heading down south, the land of the pond. I'm thumb on my way in the north Carolina. Oh. Drops things a bit. Okie dokie. Up we go. Wait. Did you just walk? Wait, I'm hearing th I'm not hearing things. Th they're, they're online! On. They they're online, yeah. Uh oh. Kill him. Go, go. Uh, I'm, at the, kill I'm him. at the bottom. I'm at the, I'm at the bottom. There are multiple, I think. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. They're gonna peek. Coming. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm coming. He's coming in. He's dead. Uh, I'm 7 HP. Good shit. They're just def cover the door. Uh, I can. But you can hear it. Like, yeah, where but they're coming multiple. From. They're multiple, dude. Hit him. Did you got him? No, 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 no. He's a no, no, no. He's a bottom in her peaks. These refineries are so scuffed. Hit him again. I'm reloading. He's like behind the refinery. I'm almost dead. <gasps> he, he pushed me. I'm dead. No shot. Okay, I think he's in the compound. I think he's in the compound tour. Uh, maybe. We gotta push together. 
I I'm jumping in. I'm jumping up. Dead, 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 dead. Nice. Got to the right. He's not dead. I hit. He's lit. He's so lit. Now, Snuffy was trapped in this room and was eventually killed as well. It seemed like all of them had just got on at the exact same time, at least two to three of them. And I'll give credit where credit is due. Treyway played this pretty well. After I hit him twice and he had headshot me once, he jumped over the oil refinery and just rushed me, which I did not expect at all. And this right here was a pretty crisp flick to kill me. They sealed their base after this, and that was that. But not before that depot run where we got away with all of their explosives, an M2 and a few L9s. You see, of course we would have loved to have stripped every little bit of loot out of their base that we could. It was easy for us to get down on ourselves that they had now sealed, but it was damn near miraculous that we got away with what we did, because if we had gone over to raid 10 minutes later, or we had taken 10 minutes longer to raid and do that initial depot run, there was a chance that by the time that their CSGO game was finished and they were loading back into the server, we would still be in their base, having yet depoted any of the loot, and we would get absolutely nothing at all. It's important to remember what our goal was through all of this. This third option was an attempt to make it so that ATP could not successfully offline raid us. And what better way to do that than to take all of their explosives? That is what we had now done. The fact that our entire raid duration happened within that time window where they were playing a CSGO match was ridiculously lucky and they had to know this. They had to be pissed and sure enough, it was only a matter of time before the messages came. Gerald, you f***ing idiot. Do you see? He said, Gerald, you f***ing idiot. Thanks for f***ing offline. <laughs> I'm gonna make them so triggered. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> he said, you f***ing silence idiots. I think he's talking about when we silence m them earlier today. Dude, I think they know how lucky we got with our timing. Pretty good. These guys are mad. They had so much boom. I know. At least we got all their boom. So they have to farm everything back, you know? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't off let us. At least tonight. But dude, I would be so upset if I were them. They were gone for what, like an hour? I mean, but they had so much boom, they could have raided us at any point throughout today. They knew there were two of us, but they didn't. But in my head, it's like, okay, they have all this boom, but they're they're holding on to it, not using it, and periodically checking up on our base. It, like, is that not quite clearly them just waiting for us to get offline to use the boom on us? It's what it looks like. I mean, the hypocrisy was there. These guys were fuming that we caught them when we did, but we weren't just going to let these explosives go to waste. Now, like I've mentioned, there was no point in trying to completely raid them. They had external TCs and overlapping privilege. We had gotten what we wanted. We didn't want to give them a chance back into the rivalry. But there were plenty of bases around our area that we'd been passing over the past two days that we kind of wanted to raid. All of these bases were in our neighborhood, so they were close to ATP space, so it would give them a chance to counter the raids and get their explosives back to prove to us that they were the top dogs in the area. And if they decided not to counter our raids, then they would be tortured by the sounds of their own explosives going off one by one. So off we ran with the explosives in our inventories fully prepared for a fight. Stone, top right. Box of wood, Roman at <coughs> half sulfur. We just haven't seen these guys the whole wipe and they're, and they're loaded. Yikes. Oh my god, easiest box of wood of my life. Sure. 
we're in bunker. Probably shotgun trap. Shoot them out, shoot them out. I can bait it. Just cover. Their garage doors are open. She. Oh my god. These guys are shoot maniacs. Them. Oh. Shoot it. Cover, you cover. Holy mother. I'm 19 HP. I have one med. Wait, don't. Monkey. <laughs> Go, man. I'm in. Nice. They're fucking the poverty. Yeah. Damn. On to the next, I guess. Oh, make sure it's high. It's a really high foundation. Shot for C4 the Yo, hold it. Let's go. That shit is loaded. You break TC? Oh, yes. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. I'm making TC. Making. They're melees in a box. Okay. Good Ooh. comms. Good comms. That's tough. Oh, that's, that's what, what we they like, like to, to see. see. That is what we like to see, my friend. That's what we are raiding for. True. Yo, that's easy peasy. Okay, we take this. Work as hell, baby. Sheesh. No sulfur profit, but who needs that, you know? The low grade is really nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we literally have none. Never had none. I say, profit. Are these frags in the stone and wood from the first base? I can pretty much finish the base, I think. And that was that. All of the explosives used three raids now complete. Two of them pretty successful, one of them not so much, but throughout the entire time we were raiding, ATP did not come to try to counter. Maybe they got off and went to go play CSGO, who knows? But from these raids, we got a good bit of resources, stone and metal frags, which we used to upgrade the base significantly. By the time that all of these upgrades were said and done, we had built the base up much, much higher, we had multiple layers of metal honeycombing, and we had a shooting floor. And then, we disconnected from the server, we logged off for the night to go to sleep. But did option three work? Well, we didn't keep playing for the rest of the wipe. Our adventure was now done, but we did log on the next morning to see if our base was okay. And indeed, it was untouched. The plan had worked. This was a vanilla server, and our base was pretty beefy now. Even if they were super dedicated, I don't think they would have been able to farm up enough sulfur overnight to raid us before we woke up. But I don't think they were that dedicated. In all honesty, I think we had broken them. I think at this point, they had just given up. So the tyrant's mistake. I think in a very tangible sense, their mistake was the building flaw. It was the ladder hatch that led directly down into the inner peak downs. Ultimately, without that, our raid would not have been a success success and perhaps we would have gotten offline raided overnight. But you could also definitely say that their mistake was all the way back at the beginning when they shot the M2 off of their roof at Snuffy and me when we were already doing very bad. I think at that moment a lot of you knew what was to come. A lot of you knew that we weren't going to give up until they had fallen. But looking at everything, I really think the tyrant's mistake was their complacency, or better yet, their predictability. Because that predictability, them doing the same thing again and again, Bradley on repeat, is what originally gave us the idea to come up with a plan to ambush them when they were coming back from Bradley. 
in chapter 2, and again in chapter 4. And then also, after we'd figured out the flaw in their base design, it was looking at that 3x3 three three core, a predictable design that gave us the confidence to say, hey, maybe this isn't impossible after all. And then really the nail in the coffin was their predictable nature in getting off after they lost gear sets to go play CSGO. Me taking a peek at their Steam profiles and realizing the trend that had been playing out throughout the wipe and what those absences really meant is what I think made us realize that this was doable. Or at least me. I think I think Snuffy would have gone over to raid them regardless. But yeah, I consider the raid a smashing success. And when all was said and done, I think there's no question who won. The rivalry. But also, I don't necessarily think ATP was a bad group. I talked about it in my last series. I've often run into groups where I can kind of just tell they're sour people. They're just scummy people, you know? But I don't think ATP was like that. Instead, I think they let their power get to their heads. The rule that they had over the neighborhood on the first two days of the wipe had made them seem invincible. They needed humbling, and like Snuffy and I love to do, we made short work of that. Over the coming days before our base would inevitably decay into nothingness and the server would reset for more adventures to come, our compound stood tall over ATPs, kind of symbolizing the story of the land, a story all about defying the odds. This time around, David had beat Goliath. And with that said, our movie will now come to a close. My name is Stevie. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait, don't go. There's a loose end. A-T-P. What does it stand for? I told you guys I would tell you. Well, if you haven't figured out by now that my thumbnails usually contain hints within them, note it for next time. Life's a coat of many colors It is never black and white Can't have one without the other The dark without the light In the summer we With the flame our hearts would burn A flame the autumn would smother And leave this heart to yearn forever I don't think these guys realize what they've gotten themselves into. I